Well, good Sunday evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally, and I mean literally, does not work. Hope everybody's having a great Sunday <laughs> afternoon. It seems to be the talk of the Dallas Cowboys is, let's just get rid of Dak and all of our problems will be over because he just gets paid too much money and the Dallas Cowboys just can't sign anybody because of him. He is the reason that the Cowboys have not won the Super Bowl in all of these years. So, um, yeah, there's that. Um, people are thinking that Trey Lance is the answer, uh, that the Cowboys must be smart because they traded for Trey Lance, uh, gave up that fourth round pick. As you see other teams that are trading for guys of the same ilk for a lot less. So the Cowboys must have known something. And I see Dak delusional fans with more excuses. Yep. If Trey Lance can run the offense, make good decisions, no extension. Bye bye Dak. Yes. Trey is no leverage. What are you going to do when Dak is gone? Uh, what excuses, but Dak haters tried to warn the Dak fanboy. Jerry brought Trey in for a reason. So, so does that mean that, the Jaguars brought in Mac Jones for a reason in Jacksonville. Is is that is that the case? Hmm. Interesting. Christina, what's up, Christina Johnson? I am. You know, it, it's weird because I am back here at my man cave. And I'm like literally lost. There's Gina, Dallas Diva. What's up, Gina? Dina? We got Stacy Schubert, Roland's Review. What's up, Roland? How are you doing? And of course, we got the lovely Linda. Linda, who knows more about football than I would say 95% of the people on here. And she's an Eagle fan. Crazy. Robo Greek Geek. Okay, so you're, you're brand new here, I see. You're, you're brand new here, and your first comment is Are you going to put everybody in timeout now? See, when you come in with that kind of comment, they li you're, you're literally saying, Hey, I'm an asshole. Put me in timeout. That, that's literally what you're doing. Chris B in the house. Crystal Caramel Corn. What's up, Crystal Caramel Corn? Is that a glo Gloria? Gloria. Gloria. What's up, Gloria? How are you doing? Dirt. Oh, Lordy. Things just got nasty up in this mother humper because Dirty Sanchez is in the house. What's up, Dirty Sanchez? And Regina. Regina Green. I don't think I got Regina, did I? I, I might be able to do the whole show just shouting out all the ladies. Clarence, what's up? Get the F out of here. Without Dak, these Cowboys are done. They still haven't made a replacement for the O-line and D-line uh, players lost. Now they're trying to get rid of a pre Clarence, you, you can't speak facts here with emotional Dak Prescott haters. You can't mention that the Dallas Cowboys have done absolutely positively nothing in free agency that they literally are losing players left and right. But the only problem the Cowboys have is a guy who was a league MVP candidate. I, I just, come on, come on now, Clarence. Clarence, you can't do that. Um, Alan Williams in the house. Chris Robinson in the house. New songs to late. Well, that, that's, you know, the, the women run this world without a job. They, they run this. Lady Libra is running this place. Jody Phillips, Mark, if I have spots to fill in almost every position, why don't people want them to trade back or just pick best player available? Well, you know, that is one of the options is trading back. You know, with being 24, uh, the only problem is, is I'm not sure we want to trade back into the second round because we don't seem to do well in the second round of the draft. We just don't. We don't. You can look at some of the players that we've had from Tristan Hill to Jalen Smith and so on, uh, boss man fat, that just have not done anything to help us. Um, and I think part of that is the philosophy of the Cowboys. They put so much effort in that first round pick and they are so good with it that they constantly want a player that they deemed first round quality 
that's been scratching down. Bobby, Bobby Ice. What's up, Bobby Ice? Uh, Kiana Gibson, another one of the lovely ladies. You know, Robo Greek, you are, and you know, I, I, I hear what you're saying. That Dak Prescott's stats were awful against the Green Bay Packers. But I ask you, bro, whose stats on the Cowboys were good against the Green Bay Packers? I'll wait. I, I seriously, I'll wait. Because, you know, had Dak Prescott just been great in the Packers, they would have won the game. You know, forget that they gave up all the yardage on, on, on you know, running the football, that they couldn't literally tackle anybody. Forget that C.D. Lamb, you know, dropped the first couple of passes that would have been first down and things like that. Forget that. It was only Dak Rain Prescott. That's it. Uh, it was not Dak's job to get players and not even Cowboy fans. Laugh out loud. I can't believe I'm defending Dak. We the ones. Shout out to we the ones. Um, Mark, what's up? I'm in the house. The one and only Ron the Don Smith. The one and only. We got the one and only one. Shout out to the one and only. Um, I, I see where this always goes. Everybody failed against the Green Bay Packers, including Jerry Jones, and he's still here. Uh, Greg Manley, they do not do not do good on trade value on draft. Day. Oh wow! Now you're bringing up some, you know. There's that. That's a great point here. Ezekiel. Zeke Roebuck, Dallas Cowboy for life. Well, we asked the question, Dwayne. Kurt Morgan, we ain't shit without Dak, Mark. Who's out there? Well, I was riding up the road, and I was sitting here thinking about something, okay? And I, I, I know that, that we hear that statistics don't matter, right? And if you're a channel member, there's Loyal Cowboy. Uh, make sure you we've got the link, and make sure I got the right link in the uh, community tab to join into the chat because I would definitely love to hear it. Joanne, what's up? Joanne Gonzalez. So, let me pull this up. Because here's something, I, 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 don't, I don't understand this, Okay. I, I'm trying to understand something here, okay? And and maybe you guys can help me. Angry Cowboy fans. Mark, you're dealing with those DPWs too? What is the DPWs? What round would you draft the center? Mr. Cowboy, here's my point is we need to draft the best offensive lineman that is there at 24. Now, when we drafted Travis Frederick, we moved back and we took Travis Frederick and we ended up getting a third round pick. We traded with San Francisco. We got Travis Frederick. We traded back. They laughed at us and we got uh, Terrence Williams with that extra pick. Okay. It's Rico, Rico time and Trey Lance time. Okay, Taz. And it's going to be Cowboys doing a whole lot of losing time, too, there, bro. All right, so here's what I understand. Here's what I understand. And when I go through this argument, I know that people like Dak, uh, delusional fan, are going to say, you are denigrating great quarterbacks to try and pump up Dak Prescott. And I am not. I'm trying to show you that great quarterbacks – don't do it by themselves. Because here's where it's crazy. You, you guys. Let's see if I can. Do I have the right screen up there? Okay. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But when we go through. When we go through. Tony Romo has more passing yards than any quarterback in Dallas Cowboys history. Now, granted, you know, you pass a lot more now than back when Roger Staubach 
and th- crew through the football. So it's skewed. Okay? But just 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 go with me on this, okay? Troy Aikman is number two with 32,000 in his career. And then it's Dak Prescott, who is only 4,700 yards behind Tony Romo's all time. All time. All of the quarterbacks that have ever played right now, Dak Prescott, who right now seems to be in the prime of his career, is only 4,700 yards away because all garbage quarterbacks throw for a lot of yards. Let's go to completion percentage. Now, oh, you can't do it with those guys because that's... Okay, wait a minute. Let's go back to yards. Completion percentage. Troy Aikman, 61.5%. And think about the targets that Troy had. Roger Staubach, 57. Again, different error. Danny White, believe it or not, 597 Tony Romo, 65.3. Little old Dak is leading quarterbacks at 67. Can, can you believe that? The garbage-ass quarterback completed 5.5% more of his passes than Troy Aikman, one of the most accurate quarterbacks in football, right? Let's go to TD passes. Dak Prescott is only 46 TDs away from Tony Romo's 248. Because he's a garbage quarterback. Garbage quarterbacks always throw a lot of TD passes. Okay? TD percent. Oh, no, you can't. I'm sorry. You can't do it that way because it gets other well, play, gets players that only threw one pass. You think about TD percentage. Troy Aikman's TD percentage was only 3.5. Dak is 5.2. Tony Romo was 5.7. Tony Romo has got that one. Interceptions. This is this one is mind-blowing. I want you to think about this for a second. Troy Aikman leads the NFL. Excuse me. Leads the Cowboys. Troy Aikman has more interceptions than anybody else in the Cowboys history. 141. Danny White has 132, Romo has 117, Don Meredith 111, Roger Stabak 109, Dak is down there at 74. I get what you're saying, that statistics don't win the Super Bowl. I'm getting to that. So, rating. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't do it that way. Sorry. Keep forgetting. Rating-wise, Romo has 97 rating. Troy Aikman at 81.6. Dak leads him at 99. Okay. Now, here's the one thing I want to say. Troy Aikman is God. Troy Aikman, incredible quarterback. Incredible. But you know what's funny? When Emmett Smith ran the ball for 100 yards... The Cowboys were like 59 and 17. Running game. Running game. Think about Tony Romo's best statistical year. Best statistical year. Best. 2014. He had a running back that ran for 1,800 yards. Think about Troy Aikman with Emmett Smith. Now, let me... Also point out something else. The Cowboys, after winning the Super Bowl, great team, great team. Michael Irvin, Jay Novacek, Alvin Harper, you know, great wall of Dallas, right? They opened up with the Washington Redskins with Richie Pettibone as the coach. Richie Pettibone, who was one and done as a coach. He was only there for one season. They got blown out by the Washington Redskins without Emmett Smith. And this was with Troy Aikman throwing for two TDs and 267 yards. They got blown out like uh, 38 to 16. The second week, they played Buffalo. 
and they got beat. It was closer without Emmett Smith. So you had a great team, great offensive line, great wide receivers, Hall of Fame quarterback, but without your running back, you lost the first two games. So I look at Roger Staubach. I look at Troy Aikman. Both of those guys had Hall of Famers on their offensive lines. Great running attack and great weapons and a great defense. And they won Super Bowls. And so if I'm looking at this, if I'm looking at this, shout out to Troy. Troy looking, th- God damn. How you doing, Mark? You look so thin. I look, man, I look like I'm swole. Damn. <laughs> Every time I see uh, you, you look 10 pounds lighter. Uh, I won't weigh for about another three weeks, but uh, I sure feel a lot lighter now. Okay, so I'm, I'm going through here with the numbers. So it's conceivable okay. that Dak Prescott is... It, it's not likely per se because it's he needs forty seven hundred yards passing this season to pass Tony Romo, although he has had four thousand nine hundred and two one year, and he would need forty six TDs to tie Tony Romo all time, hmm. and that right now Troy Aikman has almost twice as many interceptions as Dak Prescott. Would you believe that? Wow! Would you believe that Troy Aikman? Hones the record for most interceptions for the Dallas Cowboys. How many did he throw in his 141 career? TDs in his career. To 167. Are- no, interceptions. Oh, okay. So he had 107 interceptions. No, 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 no. Let me say it again. He had 141 interceptions. Oh, gotcha. Okay. To 165 TDs. Okay. Wow. Yeah, yeah I, I think you can attribute that probably to his first, what, three seasons with Dallas? I mean, they Mr. didn't Cowboy. really Okay, have... the, the link is in the uh, – Mr. Cowboy. Hold on, let me double check because – let me should repost. be in the uh, tab. It was in the community tab. Let me, let me repost it again. <laughs> da, 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 da. Um, my point being is this. If we're saying move on from Dak Prescott and we look at these numbers and, you know, people can say that, you know, well, yeah, stats aren't everything. Are we looking and saying that we're going to be able to find somebody that's going to play better than this? Oh, heck no. Oh, heck no. That, that's my whole thing. You know, be, oh, man, get rid of Dak because we can't sign anybody because Dak Prescott's taking all the money. There's nobody else out there that we could replace him with. I I don't think even Trey Lance could. Well, put people up people like seem that. to think that Trey. Oh, it's time for Trey Lance error. You know, because because no, we won't have to pay Dak. Although we're going to pay Dak Prescott ninety million dollars over the next two seasons. K. Robinson, you can't have multiple inter- interceptions, underthrowns, and overthrown high pressure games that Dak does. Well, I will also point out that you can't. There's Mr. Cowboy. That you also can't have others not show up. So, K. Robinson, you can't have your number one weapon dropping the first two passes his way and checking out. Oh, he, he totally uh, right? checked out of that. So, game. I mean, okay, uh, right? It can't, you know, K. Robinson, I'm, I'm going to say you can't have your number one wide receiver have the ball in his hands to start the game. And drop the ball. Yeah, he totally okay. Out after you you, you can't drops. have your defense literally not be able to stop the run either. I agree with you. You can't have your quarterback, you know, throw an interception and things. But you have to also wonder why was he forcing the ball to Ceedee Lamb? No. Um... Seems like C. Lamb was in Dak's ear, like he was ready to get a pass. Or, you know, he was ready to get the ball. He and got C. the ball C. twice C. early and dropped it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So I, I put a piece of that pick six kind of on C. D. Lamb a little bit. Like now, Dak is still the one that threw it. 
but trying to get his guy into the game. But by the yeah. time by the time that that interception happened, we were already down big time. Because you know I think we're, yeah, we were down we were like down nothing. The, the, the defense couldn't stop anybody. We had the penalties early. We had the, the hold it, the first drive. We had C D Lamb drop the passes. Yep. We picked up a big first down, and then it got called back for a holding or something like that. And then we mm-hmm. ended up turning the ball over. They immediately went down. They scored. Before you knew it, the game was already 14-0. Yeah, 14 nothing. And you had Pat Mahomes in the same situation where he threw an interception. You remember, they were down 14 nothing. Yeah, and he threw an interception or ten nothing. He threw an interception which was deep in his territory. His defense stopped him and gave up no points. Our defense, oh well, it's over. You know, once once things go bad for us, it just it just keeps rolling downhill. You know what kills me though is that think about what percentage of our offense, our scoring offense, was the pass game. Probably about eighty five, eighty five percent at least, right? Yeah, our run game was horrible all season. Like our run game didn't it didn't do nothing for us. So mm-hmm. considering that and then I look at our defense, our defense wasn't bad, but they didn't really win us that many games besides maybe Detroit. Where did where did the wins come from? It came from the passing game, y'all. Well he, Yeah, Dak Prescott may have had a a bad start to the the Green Bay game and we lost that game. I know it's Every Cowboys fan is heartbroken because of it, but it's like Dak Prescott is a good quarterback, y'all, and yeah. But here's yeah, my but thing. It, Trey Lance it, hasn't even played a whole entire season, and everybody is all of a sudden, oh, we, we should put Trey two, Lance out there, but what has he done? He, he let Sam Darnold. He was <laughs> – he was he was he was back up to Sam Donald in San Francisco. When he did get his starting job, he got hurt. So how does everybody assume that oh Trey Lance is going to be the future of Dallas? Well, here's what I what I got from the Cowboys organization, and part of the reason why they say we're going to wait till August to do Dak Prescott's contract because I kept saying in my mind it doesn't make any sense. It could cost you more money. Is they want to see OTAs, see Trey Lance, see him, you know, in, in in training camp, right? See what he does in training camp. He'll get a lot of playing time in preseason and see is it conceivable? Can the can the dog hunt? And you know if he what? can't, then they'll sign Dak until he gets hurt. Then what are you they know, gonna do? You know, Mark, is that I don't know how much guaranteed money Trey Lance got on that deal, but he gotta have some kind of guaranteed money. No, he's he about, does. He prob- he's his, his, his contract is like five and a half million dollars this year. Yeah, he gets five and is a half. Is it fully okay. guaranteed? I don't know that it's no, guaranteed, but it doesn't matter because the Cowboys own his okay, rights. But listen, if the Cowboys are so cheap and so frugal, that's a waste of two million dollars. Who's gonna really pay a ba- a third string quarterback five million dollars? Oh, the Cowboys will. Cooper Rush off. Cat boy. Well, we have Cat sixty-seven boy. million dollars that's tied up that? in quarterback right now. He's an idiot. He don't have. He has an IQ, a zero IQ of football. He was yeah. just handed. He was handpicked. He didn't do anything to earn that position. The only reason he got in that position is because Jerry Jones, and it went to his head. Okay, uh, here, I'm going to pull up one other thing here real quick. And again, I, everybody knows I'm a Dak Prescott fan. And, you know, I, and I understand if the Cowboys figure that they're better off moving on, you know, and, and we find out that the dog can't hunt and that Trey Lance, that we made a big mistake, we just make a big mistake. Um, I've been around long enough to have seen some bad quarterback play here with the Cowboys. And I've been around long enough to see when we when winning Super Bowls that I had a defense that was scaring people, that I had mm-hmm. crazy people like Charles Haley out there. I had guys like Ken Norton Jr. that were absolute beasts. I had safeties like Darren Woodson, who should be in the Hall of Fame. You know, I had role players like Tony Casillas out there. I had greatness all around. I saw Larry Allen just literally bulldozing people and not getting hurt on a regular basis and missing, you know, only playing seven games a season, which is what Tyron Smith is doing now. I had crazy people like Goog, uh, like Googs, who would literally knock people's heads off. I had playmaking Hall of Fame wide receivers like Michael Irvin, who, when shit wasn't going bad, he wasn't turning into himself and disappearing. He was going into the breach and firing everybody else's ass up. I don't see any of that shit here. But be that as it may, I want to point out something because I started out. 
talking about how important a running game is. How when Emmett Smith rushed for hundred dollar hundred yards, we were butter. We mm. always won games. I want you to look yep. at the numbers here of the last San Francisco playoff game. Uh oh. Okay. There yeah. Le- it's Leo's the here. Show. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Just take a look at your lead. As you're going through, hold on. As you're going through killing your quarterback, look what your running game did with Zeke Elliott. 10 carries for 26 yards, 2.6 yards. Tony Pollard, 6 carries, 22 yards, 3.7. Hell, your best effective running back was your quarterback, who got 22 yards at 5.5 yards a carry. If you are one freaking dimensional, if you cannot run the damn football and you keep a team off balance, you will not win in the playoffs. That is damn – it's a fact. And I don't see how people think move the quarterback. The one guy who's actually doing anything is going to solve the problems. I'm telling you, you will be the commanders. Mark, the issue here is the Jones family will is, not put the best team around. There Dak, you go. Which means we're not. Here's the thing. I, I know Dak this. A, you know that. Quarterback. Here's the thing. He doesn't have the good enough team to get us over the hump. So now we're just spinning our wheels in the mud here. At okay. least spin your yeah, wheels in the mud and at least make the playoffs. And, and you here, get rid of Dak Prescott, I, I your team will be in the okay, toilet. I, 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 I do too. Well, here's the thing. Since the Jones family doesn't want to put a team around Dak, we have to somehow luck our way into maybe finding or drafting a quarterback like a Brady or a Patrick Mahomes to elevate the franchise. To but a you know what? But, the but here's the thing. Hold up. But team on as the field great as Tom Brady uh, is, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Do what by yacht? Everybody has this notion that Tom Brady was one of the Super Bowls completely by himself. Brady he, is. Uh, Mark, you okay. don't go to 10 Super Bowls you by don't. luck. You don't. But have guess to what? A great you know what the worst defense that he had that he went to the Super Bowl with? Was Tampa Bay's eighth rated Mark, super he defense. Went to 10 super Bowls, yes, Mark. he did. And never had worse so than the eighth rated defense. Uh, what, I, what I'm trying to say is, is if you go to ten Super Bowls, there it has to be more than just a great defense. Yes, it has he to is. be because but you guess were what? all around great generational quarterback. Okay. All right. So all so then explain to me Aaron Rodgers then, because Aaron Rodgers is thought to be almost as good as him. How come he's only been to one? Because he, because Aaron Rodgers in the playoffs ain't Tom Brady. Okay, I'll well, tell you why. I'll t- go ahead. Why Wade that Tom Brady was so successful is number one, their front office was way better than ours. They knew Definitely. how to get a player. They knew how to showcase a player. Then all, and they knew when to get rid of a player and get something else for him. And say, oh snap, that guy's good. He could help our team out. And they would give up draft picks to get him. So they kept building and reloading and reloading and reloading. So every year they won a Super Bowl, guess what? They were in the top 10 picking a draft pick because they were able to trade a player off and get good drafts out of them. Our, uh, our front we've seen a lot of great teams through and we've seen a lot of great th- teams through NFL history. We've seen a lot of great teams through NFL history that have not won more than one Super Bowl when they've had a stacked roster and a decent quarterback. Tom Brady has won, went to 10 Super Bowls and won seven of them. With good teams, okay. okay. There's not too many I, quarterbacks that can do that. I will, I will, I will give you that. But take and a he won, he okay. Went, he went wait, to wait, 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 wait. I will give you Tom Brady was great, but I recall some of those years that the New England won the Super Bowl and then turned around and had twelve draft picks the next year, and you had that's the front office. Okay, you had. Bill Belichick wasn't great with first round draft picks, but damn if he didn't find great guys late in the draft that were ended up being role players. And what he recognized was, and see, this is where I'm, this is where I'm going to tell you the problem with the Cowboys is. This is the problem with the Cowboys because I said this and I forgot I said this back with Tony Romo and stuff. Back when we had Romo, we had Witten, we had Demarcus Ware, you know, we had Des Bryant, or before that we had um, uh, uh, T.O. Miles Austin and stuff. The Cowboys are so top heavy with their contracts that once you get past those guys, you've got 45 guys that have less than half of the salary cap to go through. And so you have bottom tier guys that when you lose a Tyron Smith, you're going to 
a Chaz Green or um, ah, damn, what was his name from uh, Philadelphia? Old ass fucker um, who was great. Peters. Yeah. Uh, you know, on the offensive line, when you lose your wide receiver, you are going down to guys that have never played. The Cowboys literally started the season two years ago with an Anthony Barr on one leg. Mm. Okay. And the only receiver who actually had a touchdown catch was CD Lamb. Lamb. That you were starting, you know, Noah Browns and, you know, semi Fiocos and guys like this that are literally nobodies that have no experience and most of them leave the Cowboys and they never heard from again. That's the problem is you are so top heavy that if you lose that guy, you're fucked. You're fucked. You find the Micah Parsons. You find the Dak Prescott. You find the Zeke Elliott. But then once you get below that, you don't have the other guys to help out. And like with Zeke, Zeke was great, but the problem was he ran so much during the season that by the time you got to the playoffs, he was spent. You can't go into the playoffs and say, my lead back is going to get 26 yards and think you're going to win. Here, here, Hold on. Here's the thing, Mark. Uh, Dak is a great quarterback. I'm not even saying get rid of Dak. I'm yeah. not even saying that's the answer, but. I will say, uh, in 2022, we had the team to go to the Super Bowl, and Dak did cough it up in the playoffs. 2022 against um, San Fran. We and had again, the team. We yeah, had the team. We had we had a very good team. That but game again, right there, though, San Francisco got all the lucky breaks, y'all. I mean, the ball hit Kittle on the head, and it just and, and the he ball ends up coming down back. with it. And, when Dick right, should have had interception there. Sometimes you need luck to win a Super Bowl, and unfortunately, we ain't had much luck in the last yeah. twenty years. Yeah, but you well, know what, y'all? Nope. One thing that remains the we same. We can't get to the next level. Okay, over because the last of this crap years. that's going on. Right Shut now. up, Leo. Leo, I see you there laughing. Yeah, and guess what? And guess what? Here, here's what's funny. Do y'all think that the Eagles have a team that's going back to Super Bowl and winning it? No, because they did not hire the right offensive coordinator. Okay, I, I'm just asking because uh, or do you think that the Washington Commanders that have gone out there and signed everybody, which they've been doing forever, that Washington they got the team that's going? To get back, get there than the I Eagles think the Eagles would be better than um, – the Commanders would be better than the Eagles next year, I think. I think so, too. <laughs> But us, I don't know, man. We until we, oh, until oh, we game go time. out there and open up your checkbooks. I'm just saying that for y'all who think, okay, and, and and to Wade's point, to Wade's point, that yes, Tom Brady is the goat. But how many Tom Brady's have there been? Yeah, just like my homeses. There's not many my homeses. Right, you know and, and, I mean? and I'm we sitting can't. here looking. I'm sitting here looking at. Um, I don't even know you guys. We we about. just mainly need a court. You know, look, Dak is great. We, you know, the 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 key is finding a quarterback that turns it on in the playoffs. Well, you need a whole team that's going to turn it on in the playoffs. You know, I mean, I understand that Dak crushes you know Troy Aikman's numbers, but Troy Aikman turned it on in the playoffs. When we yeah, need, but Troy Aikman had a great running game and a, and a great ball. Great, had had a Hall of Fame offensive line. Okay, yeah, had had one back. of the greatest wide receivers in football. Great tight end. Great guys in role. I mean, you had a, one of the best fullbacks ever. You had a loaded. Tell me honestly. Tell me. Look. Look at my offense and say, what does Dak have comparable that that Troy Aikman had going in the playoffs? Well, that's lightning in a bottle. Teams like that don't come around at all. We really. had Jimmy Johnson. Then Jimmy Johnson was a player. He was in charge of player personnel. Jimmy Johnson brought people in, in here to try and get players. Squat. I, I just want you all. Cowboy to know. just wants to save a dime. That's I, all he cares about. I, I just want all of you to know that you guys sound like Europeans. Okay. Europeans. Because the problem with Europeans is their greatest oh. asset is also their biggest curse. Look Which at Eddie history. over here dropping the ball. You bombs. can't get past. You can't. You guys are so caught up in your history. It's hard for you guys to even move forward mm-hmm. into the future. You know, nah, like because of I literally Cowboy. just sat here and listened to you guys. Because of Cowboy. Like, I you're, blame you're, him solely. Yeah, look, whatever it is, it's it, like that's why I said you guys, the variables that go into you guys it's sound Cowboy. like your is what you got. You guys sound like Europeans. You're it's just, Cowboy. All of us, all of us know exactly what we would do. But Catboy, he's so set in his ways that oh, I want to save money. That's why we can't do anything because of him. Every no, time we make, a, every time they make, bring up a good name. Oh, we don't want him. We don't need him. We like the players we got. That's Here's all. Here's the says. deal. Here's the deal. Go ahead. My in my humble opinion, I'm going to give you the good, 
and the bad. Now, to Leo's point, you said we sound like Europeans about our history. Yeah, because our history is rich with Super Bowl friggin' championships. Okay, so to your point, we have many Super Bowls. We've been to eight Super Bowls. Mm -hmm. We've won point, five Game Super Bowls. Now that the is the, point. that is the good it. thing. Well, Stay I'm going to get to you. I'm going to be good and bad. That's why I said there's good. So that's why we look to that because some of us older people. We are expecting that. Now, mm -hmm. in the salary cap era, we haven't done shit. No. Okay? So, to Leo's point, he's right. We we do sound like a bunch of Europeans, but for me, not my son, because my son has, has seen nothing but disappointment after yeah. disappointment. But us, me, Mark, Troy, Thomas Garrett, everybody, the older guys, we know what they can do. We know how to do it. Somebody brought yep. up Troy Aikman. Uh, I don't know who it was. I think it was Walker, maybe. Okay. Walker yeah, was maybe. saying uh, Troy Aikman. Troy Aikman was a money player in a different era. Yes. I don't uh, like when we talk about – Everybody wants to talk about stats. This stats these days are a bunch of BS. The defense is mm -hmm. hardly – listen, Leo, just watch a game from 95, 94. Just go on YouTube and watch a game. It is a – it's not the same game that we're playing no. today. Nope. Now it's ticky-tack. You get – how many of us are watching the game, right? You see a long pass go down the field. You see an incomplete. And what's the first thing we're all looking for? Oh, my God. That's is there right. a flag? Is there <laughs> exactly. a flag? And then it's a chunk play all the way down into the red zone. Back in the day, you could almost assault a quarterback. As a matter of fact, I was mm. in, in that stadium, Leo, when Aikman got assaulted by the Eagles defense for oh, 11 man. sacks. Yeah. Mm. Almost freaking died that day. I mean, mm. I'm not big. It was horrendous. Now mm. there would be people thrown out for you know, roughing mm. and yeah. different games. So I don't know. Like shout, out, shout out to Eddie B who says, man, he he's done. He's ready to move on from Dak Prescott. Let me ask you this. You, and it, we it, respect your opinion. It, it, no, it, what, what, if, what if the Cowboys – you know, they look go through training camp and they say, you know, we're not going to pay Dak, and they decide. They got to pay him one thing, but yeah. No, they don't have to. No, they, no, they don't. They could go through and take the fifty-five million dollar hit this year, and then take the fifty-four million dollar next year and say we're going to go ahead and sign Trey Lance to an extension, who will be a free agent as well. And they say, actually added two void years, so there's they could spread this money. Over the out. next four years. Yeah. Well, the the, oh. the the other part. Yeah. Or they yeah. could. Yeah. They could restructure this now, or they can go through and just say we're going to take Michael Gallup's money right now. Um, coming in, we're going to do just the very bare minimum. You know, that's enough money Wait, for man, them to sign them. Let me answer me this because you explained this a week before they actually did it. So I just want to make sure I'm clear on this by adding the by restructuring that uh, bonus. Contract, it was just his bonus. Just the just bonus money. The bonus. Yeah. Okay, so, but to GameCon's point, they added two more avoidable years. To the yes. contract, yeah. yes. Okay. So, so they could now, move some of that money down the road. So they could restructure really, his contract. It and, makes it easier to get out of it, and it gives them a little bit of money to, to play with without hitting all. Listen, they could do all these but this doesn't mess with the ninety million, right? No, no. It's still no. the same amount of money. You, you can just spread. Look, look, you can pay me now, or you can pay me later. The two years we got four mm. years to spread out the ninety million. Right. That's all we're saying. We're a hundred million under the cap as we sit here right now for next year. So everybody that's who's what I'm talking about, yeah, writing the demise for the Cowboys. We all, yeah. Well, we're the demise might be the demise yet. might be is that you end up being in this. We're looking for a quarterback cycle. Well. Again, okay. I'll believe it when I see it, but I just want to tell everybody, yeah, we didn't play in this free agent pool, but most of the time, free agency is an empty, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You normally, you don't get what you want to get out of free agency. Typically, most, no. No, most we don't. times. It's all empty calories. Yeah, exactly. Empty, empty calories. You, it's uh -huh. most of the well, time. Most of the time, that right. That don't mean I don't want to play in that pool. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah. yeah now, now the well, Eagles, to their credit. Now, here's the thing. Credit. The Eagles, to their credit, two years ago, they hit like nobody's ever hit before. But you can go through and you can look at Washington. Washington spends more money in free agency than anybody else. 
and it has done absolutely positively nothing for them. I mean, they've been players, old school players with Deion Sanders and guys like that. Adam Archuleta's they got from the uh, the Bears, and they paid him like you know for being a safety like forty million, and he couldn't couldn't cover a, a damn thing. Um, mm-hmm. They've had, of course, like Albert Hainsworth, who people thought like, oh my God, you know, they had a good defense. Now they got Albert yeah. Hainsworth. They're going to be what he's trying to say basically is normally free agency is a bad thing. You remember Leo, you know, remember Namdi Asamoah, awesome remember that year? Oh God. I, dude, and you guys Cowboy signed everybody. Fan, and I, and I worked with Namdi. There, it was scary, man. We're like, oh my God, Eagles are doing it all. And what dream happened? team. It was a friggin' mess. And what did they say? Dream team? That was the dream team. And that led to yeah, Andy Reid getting kicked show. out. Yeah. So it's like, you know, it's good that, you can go out and spend it, but I think like to, like what Washington did was not impressive at all. They had to spend the money. You have to get to a salary floor. They still got a yeah. shit ton of money. Yeah. yeah, you know, I just appreciate Howie Roseman for sticking his and trying to get too graphic, but he sticks his stuff out there. Okay, the I don't agree with everything, but yeah. uh, yo, what do you I like care? I'm Joe Fan. I get to go out and buy a Saquon jersey, and I got a little excitement. Meanwhile, we got the Muppets sitting on their yacht, <laughs> not giving a shit. <laughs> They're not giving us anything, Mark. They, never do. they the never do. They never do. But, but okay. But, but, but hold on. Like, okay. <laughs> now, a damn nap. Go ahead, but, Mark. But I'm we've been here. Man. Here's the thing, though. We've been here over and over again. Every okay. Just just think of two years ago. We were sitting here. And all of a sudden, we've got Amari Cooper going to the Browns, and we were literally paying him more money to be gone than the Browns were to have him on their roster. We had Cedric Wilson, who was our third best receiver. He goes to Miami, right? Because we said we couldn't afford to keep him. We ended up getting rid of Lyle Collins and Connor Williams. And what did we do to do anything to help our offense? Nothing. Nothing. Mm-hmm. And and what yeah, happened? What, what ended up happening during the season? <clears throat> we were twelve and five, yeah. and in the playoffs and won a playoff game. Yeah. I'm just Can saying. But 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 he, and here's where I'm going to say, maybe just maybe they're looking and saying that Dorrance Armstrong, you know, he had eight and a half sacks. That they believe that um, Sam Williams can do that same thing. What if they believe that Golston, who was a third round draft pick who hasn't been able to have enough time to get on the field, that he we believe that he could be Dante Fowler? And we looked at it and say Hankins There's no doubt in my mind that Hankins is kinda old happen. and we can find a one technique guy. And what if they say, your know, Mike Zimmer says, you know what? I've looked at what Mozzie Smith did because if you look at the numbers of what Mozzie Smith did as his rookie year, they're as good as what Jordan Davis had his exactly. rookie year. I'm and they look and they say that. he I'm can w- w- that. that they screwed the pooch by saying we need you to lose weight and be able to rush the passer and say fuck that. We're going to have him as a run stopper and we want you to get big, fat, and nasty and they we want like you to get some of the barbecue from Joe Boo Sports so we can fatten your ass up. What if those three things happen on the defense? Cracker Barrel. <laughs> and I would say, I, and, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but at least on paper right now, I will say that this is the best linebacker room we've had since Jalen Smith and Leighton Van Der Esch when he was a rookie. Yeah, I, I, honestly, I I'm going to be and honest. With you about you tell me that we've had a better at, at, at the moment because I, Eric Kendrick is at least as good as Van Der Esch's <clears throat> best season. Yeah, that's that's true. I can't wait to see what Overshone can. That, Overshone can do. got hurt early, early, early before the, the season pre-season. started. So he's, he's ha- already moving around. Anyway, Mister Cowboy, right where you at? Yeah, you wanted to say something. Go ahead, man. Yeah, I was pretty much just going to ask y'all, uh, what have y'all heard uh, as to how we're going to replace our defense because it seems like our defense just got straight up demoralized. Like, I, I still I, haven't heard nothing from Gil. Again, I, Mr. Cowboy, who did we really lose that was the starter? Now, I understand. We lost depth depth pieces, but we're in a situation where, and I'll let Mark go. I don't mean to take over your show. No, we're please do. We're in a situation do. where um, we need to let these young guys play. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. We need mm-hmm. to let them play. Yes. Everybody wants to talk shit on Sam Williams, Mr. Cowboy. Sam Williams is the is the most athletic linebacker 
on most rosters in the NFL. He's that Starting. athletic. Why have we not put him on the field? Because we could Dan used Quinn, class. you know Dan Quinn likes his guys, right? Yeah. Look what well, he Dan, did to Mozzie. I mean, wrong. that was wrong. So Dan Quinn doesn't walk on water. He obviously made some mistakes. Give me Mike Zimmer with this kid. Mike Zimmer is a football savant. Well, he, he I'm likes telling big you, guys. he's going to be fine. Now, listen, am I sitting here telling you that Sam Williams is not going to have any penalties? No. no well, but when you have That's three, a part of football. Yeah, but when you have limited snaps, you know, it is so much more on that player to be good yep. on every snap. He's trying to prove himself. Just let him play. Let him play. Yep. Do you wanna... think that? Do you think that this offense, your offense, is well? Your defense is is stout enough against this? This so is not yet. Not yet. No. We don't no. even got our defense uh, together yet. No, no absolutely our not. The more alive right now. We lost Hankins. We lost. I, I wanted Doris Armstrong back. I'm gonna be honest. I wanted Da back because I think he's. I think he would have felt fit. I think he fits good in just about any defensive system. I did want him back, but I think we can replace him. Put Osa out there a little bit more. Well, Osa can, Osa look for to uh, actually. It's thirty-one seventeen right now. They're actually making a little bit of a comeback. Yeah, look for Golston. You know, mm-hmm. because he was he's a six foot six dude. Mm-hmm. He's a big dude. That yeah. the Quinn is slid inside, and he's really yeah. an edge rusher. Right. I mean, mm-hmm. that's what he's always really been. But, you know, again, I don't care, but look for him to get some run, and we're going to draft. We we are going to draft. So, yeah. again, as much as I like Armstrong, everybody's getting a little carried away with Armstrong, okay? Uh, I guarantee <laughs> you, I'm going to sit here today, guarantee as long as he's on the field, Sam Williams would have more than seven and a half sacks this year. He just will. You know what? Dak is I, Kirk Cousins. I, I, just want, I just dream of Sam Williams being a linebacker, y'all. I think Eric Alma, Kendrick shout out to Alma. Can teach him how to be a linebacker. You know what I'm saying? Did and you guys talk about the Eagles' new quarterback yet? Get Will Greer? <laughs> no, actually, uh, I had not. You, uh, you talking about um, <laughs> Will Greer? Yeah, Will I, Greer I believe Will Greer has Will as much Greer. experience <laughs> as Trey Lance <laughs> does. Will Greer started a game versus the Eagles. All right? I gotta say is this right now: the Eagles have more quarterbacks than Nick Cannon's got kids. For crying out loud! I mean. <laughs> I mean, oh what are they doing? Let I mean, like I mean, yeah, bro, bro, come on. <laughs> Why the are they bringing in Will Greer? What, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I've, I've said this time and time again. It's we're the Philadelphia Eagles. Remember what happened to us? Yeah, I know, I know. Come on, you know like what? if there's if there's I just think it's that funny, man. That lesson, is, I am telling you, that's Kellen Moore, man. Leo, what, Leo, what he can't help know, himself. On. What, no, what, no, what, that's not know. Kellen. That's no. I'm, I'm telling you, that is Howie. We learned that lesson. You know what I'm saying? We lucked out. We won a Super Bowl with our backup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, at, at, like, you got hot though. Seven, you were the hottest team in the playoffs. I don't know if you got backup. Yeah, yeah that's so the the value of, and that's why I always say, <laughs> I, 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 I am, I am, I have PTSD, and what I got <laughs> from that PTSD was all I want is a competent backup. And if I got to go through three or four other quarterbacks to get a competent backup based off of what happened to us in 2017, I got you. that's I got exactly you. what I'm going to do. So, yeah, I'm fine with it. I, I just really thought it was care. funny when I saw it. I had to get that rib in. Are, but are yeah, they thinking Jalen's going to go through that injury bug this year? Well, no, no, no. We learned our lesson with Carson Wentz. Remember what happened. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so it, it, hurt, it hurt just like Carson Wentz did, but it's not, it yes. wasn't quite bad. But also, what you want is a competent quarterback, like we got with Nick Foles. You see what I'm saying? What, what, well, you know, yeah. Is that you, y'all? I don't understand why y'all went and signed Saquon Barkley to all that money, and Kellen Moore's run game is horrible, and we we know that, all Cowboys <laughs> fans. Because mm-hmm. Kellen Moore could not run the ball for a damn for a lick. Well, Kellen Moore didn't have Kel, Kellen Moore did never had a Ferrari like ours. So he'll get to he, we'll he, he had some good he, years. He may he may play differently. He, he had Tony Pollard he, who, he who Tony Pollard was was, was, was okay. All right, leg, yeah. But 
he, he his his run offense don't make no sense. Oh, okay. I look, I love this little train boys. Dak is a backup at best. Mark Holmes. No. Okay. No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thirty six touchdown passes. Oh tonight. boy. You know, backup. Mark. You, mm. What's that? Mark. I love it. But mm. you know what? I don't understand. Stephen Jones and them. They preach. Oh, we believe in our guys. They sure have let a lot of their guys they've drafted that, walk. That's true. They, yeah, our, our guys is that's. I haven't heard him say that this year, though. I have not heard him say that this year. He usually, and usually they've gone through and in free agency, they've gone through and they've signed all their guys, but it seemed like they let them all go. And I'm thinking that they're thinking, you know, we lost with those guys. Maybe we need to go ahead and wait. What, what I'm hoping is, is this. What I'm hoping is, is this, that they are waiting for all the big free agent signings because they've actually done some good things later in free agency they've actually been good at getting talent when you think of j ron curse that was a steal j ron curse did really good things he only had like his best season before he got here was like 50 50 tackles and they got that guy they plugged him in he did really good for him you could look and say dante fowler guys that are pissed off about us letting go dante fowler Mm. Nobody was happy about us signing Dante Fowler. What did everybody say? That bum on Atlanta's defense, man, he's spent. He's done. Now we're crying about that guy leaving. Dorrance Armstrong, y'all want everybody wanted Randy Gregory instead of Dorrance Armstrong. So maybe we do have some young guys that we don't know about that we'll be able to step into it because we're here having the same freaking conversation every time, every year, this time of the year, Cowboys suck, man. We ain't going to win. We're going to be terrible at, at next year. Let Dak point. walk. And every year we got a brand new flavor of somebody that they say is better. Cause I, I'm seeing now everybody, CJ Stroud, CJ Stroud is better. Haven't we heard that with Kyler Murray? Haven't we heard that with Trevor Lawrence? Haven't we heard that with every year it's a new guy with Deshaun Watson? And what's funny is is those guys just kind of drop off the face of the earth, and nobody remembers saying those same things. Mm-hmm. Somehow, here it is. You got a quarterback that threw 36 TDs and nine interceptions without a running game. And everybody says, we suck because of that guy. I hate to tell you, y'all. You can get rid of Dak. It's going to be back to the days of Quincy Carter, Anthony Carter, yeah. Wright, and old ass Randall Cunningham, a, 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 the biggest bust in the NFL history of uh, Ryan Leaf Ryan coming Lee. in here. Yeah. The Clint yeah, Stoners. This, this, this year I literally on, saw it was just like the parade of shame when it came it wasn't to quarterbacks. On Dak. The team collapsed. It Pack attack. Collapsed you still think Dak year. is better than our love? And you know what? Jordan Love had a good season this year. But you know what's funny about NFL quarterbacks? A lot of times they have a good first year. But the problem is, is defensive coordinators have a whole offseason to kind of scout them out and find out where you can stop them. I saw RG3 look like he was the greatest thing. He was going to revolutionize revolutionize football and literally had a conversation about exactly that with Roger Staubach sitting in the car beside me. If the pistol offense and RG3 were going to revolutionize football and what happened to RG3? I remember hearing people talking about Deshaun Watson was a top five quarterback and things and how great he was, even though the team was four and 12, right? Where's Deshaun Watson now? Yeah. Okay. So don't don't sit here and say after one good season. Hell, everybody said Jalen Hurts was incredible, and he really only had one good season. I'm not going to say uh, Leo. Would you say that last year was you know a great season by Jalen Hurts? Uh oh, that was the bloodiest. Them two. So Thomas, yeah. Okay, wait, wait. So no, I will, that, I, I, I will not say that. I I will not say that. Okay, the year before, the year, year before the, year year the year Super Bowl, Bowl season, the Super Bowl year, yeah. No, absolutely. that season was good. That season was really yeah. good. But the season yeah, before that, what, what was that like? No, this this past oh, season, oh, it, this past you season could have been. Before Somebody's got, got got it on the yeah, background. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was just me. Rick Clair, manager JJ Dillon. That was the original. Okay, somebody's got to play in the background and it's feeding back. Yeah, somebody's got to. Somebody needs to. Be me. Oh, okay, it's Thomas. Okay, but I'm just saying that out of the three years of go. Jalen Hurst starting, 
He's had one incredible season, and the other two were kind of average. No, well, yes, but not, but not to the point where you say let's get rid of him. No, no, no. See, only Cowboys do that. Right. That, okay. My my point that, being is this is, you know, somewhere, and I'm not going to say that Jalen Hurts was as bad as this year, but I'm not going to say that he's as good as he was there. He's somewhere in the middle there. You're going to have guys that have one incredible season and they're never able to replicate it. You're going to have guys that are going to have a bad season and, you know, that's just their bad season. It's just the nature of the beast. And usually you're not as good as the highs and you're not as bad as the lows. You know, a lot of it is circumstances. Is did the guys drop the ball? Could we run the football? Do we have offensive linemen that were hurt? Those things all matter. Jalen Hurts was hurt this year. He was hurt. That leg was hurt a lot worse than they let on, and they were bullshitting and not actually reporting it. They were hiding something. They were good. hiding that shit, okay? Yeah. I called it in the game. I remember That's saying the game time. I said, game yeah. time, something ain't right exactly. with that leg. Some ain't right with that leg, and, I, and, I and it got worse. That. I remember when you said that. I forget what game it was, but I do remember. It was versus us. Um, I, I, I'll, I'll say this. And to his um, credit, he, he, you know, he, I mean, he sucked it up and played. He, yeah. I mean, he I know, never made that. any excuse. Absolutely. You know, Ryan, what you want to see? <laughs> Y'all That's funny eating my snacks and laughing love for love. the entertainment. Okay. But, you know, Jordan Love, great season last year. Great season. And it may end up being... That that's the Jordan love that we see. It may end up being that, you know, that was lightning in a bottle and nobody expected. Carson Wentz, his second season, was playing incredible. Then people learned his tendencies. He also had that injury, and he was never the same. You could actually look and say Sam Darnold, because they beat us, I want to say, his rookie year. You looked and said Sam Darnold's a pretty good quarterback. That year, and since that time, not so much. So you need more than one year to say that this guy is going to be the greatest of all time. You just do. You know what kills me about the Cowboys fans that don't support Dak Prescott? Is what's is up? That I see that Dak Prescott is a great quarterback. And if he if he went to another team that the front office would have his back and put mm-hmm. some good we got good receivers, but we didn't we didn't have no running game. If, they, if he had a, a front office that would put a running game and some good receivers with a yeah. decent defense, he can go to a championship game. Maybe not, I'm not saying the Super Bowl, maybe, but he could get to an AFC or NFC championship game simply because he's not going to have that same pressure that he does being the uh, you know the starting mm-hmm. quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. Okay, well, let me ask this question. And the Cowboys keep fighting him. Does Kansas City win this Super Bowl if that defense doesn't bail out? Pat Mahomes no. is greatest. Pat Mahomes. No, 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 no. 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 Yeah, and and that's just, that's the thing, uh, you know. And and that's not to say Pat Mahomes isn't isn't incredible and playing incredible because he is. But when you're in the playoffs, it's a totally different animal, right there. You have to have everything. You got to be clicking on all cylinders. Where do you look at the San Francisco 49ers and say there's a weakness on that team? Nowhere. You know, you, you look at the defensive front that they have, the linebackers. You look at the wide receivers, the tight ends. You know, you just got – you look at the running back, and you then look at our team and say, how do we compete with all of those positions that are better than so, us? Our front office is so weak. That, there you go. And well, our front you, office is the worst, I think, in pro sports, y'all. I'm going to be honest. In mm. all of American sports, I think the mm. Cowboys got the worst front office. Yeah, I, you I, can I, say that. I, ever since this free agency uh, period started, I've officially said that I'm a fan of just the Cowboys team, the mm-hmm. football team. The front office, I can care less. But the team, that's going to always be my team. But, of course, everything ties back to the front office. But yeah. Oh, no, Carolina, front office Carolina, Carolina Panthers might be worse. <laughs> I cannot stand <laughs> the front office, Joe. It's like if if they would at least just kind of come out and say what their plan is. I know they're not going to. At least we could then like relax back a little bit and say, "Oh, we got a plan." Mm-hmm. But we don't have no idea. Like we don't have no idea if they have any kind of plan. I think Will McClay's hands have been tied by by the Joneses. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know what? I'm gonna be honest. I wouldn't be the because Will McClay is good. I'll give him that. He drafts really good. Yeah, I wasn't surprised if he left the Joneses because his son, didn't his son just graduate high school? Yep. Yeah. 
Well, and that's one of the reasons why he hadn't left. Now, they're holding back. If this season is why? going to be because... successful, yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead. You, you, you talk. You <clears> know, listen, I talk man. All the time. He he has free reign. Whether you like the Mozzie pick or not, you saw the yeah the war room uh, cam last year. He made the pick, and I'm not ready to give up on Mozzie. Like Mark mm-hmm. said, no. Mozzie had some really no. good. Uh, uh, like like stat wise, he's fine. Everybody forgets he was the bottom of the round. He was taking two picks ahead of Nolan Smith mm-hmm. that the Eagles fans and Leo will, you know, it's a big year for Nolan. He has to do something. Mm-hmm. They're going to rely yeah. on him a little more. Yeah. Yeah, Mozzie is being, yeah. being compared to Jordan Davis, who was gave up multiple draft picks to get. It's not fair, but it's the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. Listen, man, we have a plan. Jerry <clears throat> Jones basically said we cannot afford Tyron Smith with all the incentives. Yes, we could have. No. I mean, th- here's the deal. Tyler Smith. Oh, wait, hold, hold, wait, hold. Oh, I, just stop for one on, second. I, I, I have Smith to read this one. lobbying uh, to be left tackle. But th- Tyler this... Smith wants to get paid as a left tackle. Tyler Smith will be our left tackle this year. Mark mm. my words. Yeah, yeah, okay, hold on, hold on, yeah, hold on. I have to say, this Steven, makes... Steven, let the face, rough face, I mean, he just can't <laughs> fuck it up. <laughs> but Will McClay gets Mark, to do what he uh, wants. But, but, but forgive me on how the way I'm acting right now today. It's my brother's birthday. I'm, I'm, I'm. He's, he's tuned up a little bit. Okay, so I'm, I'm looking at this comment here that says Dallas absolutely has a better chance at a Super Bowl with a rookie quarterback, even if it takes ten or fifteen uh, you years. Even look at that dumb shit. Oh, what, a, a rookie gives the Cowboys Sorry. a better chance. Uh, I never said that. that is, you know what? That would actually make sense if the Cowboys would say, we're going to take the money and use it to bring in people because they had that opportunity where they had a quarterback that who was playing that. lights out, who was making less than a million dollars a year, and they did absolutely positively nothing, nothing with it. Nothing. nothing. Nope. They didn't add a single big name free agent. And they had him for four years for under two million dollars every year. So stop. Didn't they, just stop. Didn't they get rid of one more. What's up, Joe get, Davis? Just stop, Sorry, buddy. <sighs> Seriously, we had four mm-hmm. years where Dak Prescott made less than two million a year, and it was only the fourth year that he made two million. He made a total of $4 million his first four seasons, and the Cowboys' front office did not deal shit Absolutely with not. free agency. So stop this saying that, well, Dak Prescott's contract. Bullshit. Whether Dak gets paid or not, they can restructure, and they're still not going to spend any fucking money. Hell, and Mark, they're not. Two, of those, two of those years, so Mark, the they were paying Romo. Remember? Yes, they were, but guess what? It's amazing how the New Orleans Saints can be $73 million over the cap and somehow right now be $15 million more in the black than the Cowboys. Mm. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? It's amazing how the Eagles can go through and fuck up on a quarterback like Carson Wentz can go out and sign people left and right, can make trades for a wide receiver Mm -hmm. and still have... $30 $30 million more than we do. Get, uh, we, we're, we $30 million dollars more than we do. The, we, have tw- we have the you know, 24th most expensive payroll <coughs> going into the season. And y'all got like, what, 30, 35 to 40 under? Yeah. yeah. So tell Cowboys fans, why can't the Dallas Cowboys do that? Do we not make enough money? The, the Cowboys <laughs> had the most attended NFL game last season. It was Cowboys versus Eagles in Dallas. They got the money. Mm. I mean, we buying these hats? We buying these them jerseys? Now, that has nothing to do with, these, of course, the things? salary cap. Okay, everybody has the same amount. No, but when you have no an idiot who doesn't cap. know how if to do no contracts, salary cap, Jerry Jones would be spending money. I promise you. If there's no salary cap, they would be buying everything. You know, what they would be doing with the, what the Yankees used to do? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like what Jordan oh, yeah. used to do? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what killed okay. I, I want that- you. Hold on. Let me let me say this with feelings here. Uh, or Leo, how many players? Can you name the players you got? You guys assigned. You know, I know you know Barkley and uh, the, the new wide receiver and all this Barkley, stuff, right? Devin White. Yeah, we got uh, we got Saquon. We got Devontae Parker. Uh, we picked up uh, Devin White from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I wanted White. Uh, we we resigned C J Gardner Johnson from Detroit. Um, we ended up picking up, and you guys don't forget, 
Isaiah Rogers is on our team. Okay, so all right, that's a, that's year. that's enough. That's enough. Okay. That's enough. Okay, <laughs> all right. Let's just say they've, yeah, and, and that's not to say that Christmas. that's not to say that these guys are all going to work out. But the fact that they're trying, they still have, according to over the cap today, right now as we speak, thirty three million six hundred fifty seven thousand nine hundred eighty six dollars. The Cowboys have re signed Jordan Lewis, our long snapper, and we brought in Eric Kendrick. And wait for it, we have five point five million dollars. That's what you have and left. That's what we have right, right now. now. Right now. Now right we're getting now. nine and a half million oh. because see, y'all want to blame Dak Prescott. Y'all want to blame Dak this Prescott. But how people. about how about yeah. the thirty plus million dollars we spent on Michael Gallup? You want to talk okay. about Dak Prescott? At least he was an MVP candidate. How about that thirty million dollars that we spent on Michael Gallup? With Gallup, and you've got nine hundred less than nine hundred yards in receiving. How about that ninety million dollars that we spent on Zeke Elliott? And we got Bryce okay. Huff too. Fuck you. <laughs> okay. That's How about the ninety million dollar contract that we spent for Zeke? And Zeke hasn't gotten over eleven hundred yards since that contract. How about that money we spent on Jalen Smith? Right. You see all this money here. Y'all want to go ahead and say the one guy who's actually performed on his contract and deserves another one. He's the problem. Oh, release him. Cut okay. Him. Cut that. Get rid of that guy. All these other people that got these big ass contracts and didn't bust a grape. Nobody remembers that. Come on, man. And see, Mark, what it is, Jerry Jones, he's loving this shit because he know the blame is not on him anymore. Right, the blame is on Dak Prescott, which is he's always the fall guy. We sit here oh, and we well, say the Cowboys don't sign anybody, yeah. but the only person anybody talks about is the damn quarterback. Everybody talks. Know, it's Dak. He, know, we can't win a Super Bowl with Dak because Dak sucks. Well, guess what? You weren't winning the Super Bowls before Dak. At least with Dak right, Prescott, right. we weren't five and eleven three years in a row, or eight and eight three years in a row. At least we we're twelve and five. This has been the best. Right. This has been the best you the know, Dallas and, and, Cowboys have been since the '90s Super Bowls teams. Right, and that's the all, best. And, and that's not fair for that. Jerry Jones, your rough face skeleton, man. So, so, See, so I, I'm, I'm holding back, Mark. Is responsible I'm holding back for more winning seasons. In, oh my God! In, in the in the in this during this drought, yes. Than any of the other yes. That, we didn't. Okay, I want you to understand something. Listen, to everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to say maybe we had one other season with back to back playoffs without Dak Prescott since the nineties. Mm. We've had three here now. Listen to what I'm saying. If we did, I, 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 I don't, I think maybe Romo one year, we had back-to-back -back playoff yeah. years mm -hmm. in the 30 years, okay? Mm -hmm. And we've had five 12-plus, no, six 12-plus winning seasons, and Dak has been responsible for four of them, mm -hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. You know what? Uh, and, and, and here's where, and, and, and I want to say that over the course of the last three years, we have done more subtraction than addition to the roster. So then that proves Mr. Cowboy's point. You know what I'm saying? If you think about what he said, you know what I'm saying? He hates the front office. You have the worst oh my God. front office. You know what, y'all? I kind of just realized this, though. Think about the teams that have won the Super Bowl over the last five or six seasons, what did they do midway through the season? They added, when they, when they lost they somebody, added, they've they added, added talent. Added, See, and the Jones is, what do they do during the middle of the season? They get rid of people. Did they sit up there in that damn uh, billion oh, dollar we, 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 we wait for people to call us to bring us people. Now, now see, here, here's the thing. Think of it like this. We got a pendulum, okay, in free agency. The mm -hmm. pendulum swings all the way over here, typically where the Washington Commanders are, and they just go out and sign people left and right. And, you know, you see teams that end up getting all these busts and everything else, and guys that don't work. Mm -hmm. Then the pendulum is over here on this side of it, where the Cowboys say, "If you're getting a big name free agent, it's because you screwed up in the draft, and we're not going to overpay for average talent." 
Mm. You're too far on each side of it. Yeah. The Eagles are more in the middle of it, of where it swings and says, we have a good team. Because the only way you're going to win is you have to have a good team and you supplement it with free agents. See, San Francisco yeah. had a great team, but it yeah, wasn't enough. So they end up getting Hargrave. And they go out and they make you. a trade for um, you know, uh, Christian Gray McCaffrey. Ray and that's where the Cowboys are. Cowboys are great at finding undrafted rookie free agents yeah, talent. Yeah, yeah. They're usually, yeah. you know, we, we're, you don't hit on every draft pick, and sometimes guys get hurt. <clears throat> and so on. Free and, agency it, has not been good to us, really. It ha- so, but we Mark, don't really well, play wait it. Wait and, Mark, though, and Mark you, had... Laid it out. We don't like. We really don't. Wait, wait, but wait, wait. It's it. But to Mark's point, or the point that was made earlier, midway through the season, right? Remember, remember our our Super Bowl run. Oh yeah. When when Darren Sproles got hurt, Jay Ajayi, and we went out. Jay Ajayi. Ajayi. Yeah. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But we started off the season. Mm -hmm. Remember, we had we got Legarrette Blunt. Yeah. And we got Alshon. You know what? I'll even I'll give the judges a pass. Alex Villegas for the four ninety nine super chat. Evaluate Dak in crunch time. How does he perform in the biggest of lights? Again, so we're but, not gonna. But but we, we we're just gonna bypass everybody else because everybody else is part of the big lights. You can't fire everybody, Alex. That's all I will tell you, brother. Um, but I agree with you. Dak can play good now on the biggest lights last year on a road playoff game. He kicked ass, okay? You can give me all the excuses you want. He went in into Tampa Bay. Okay, but he went into Tampa, had a perfect quarterback rating, threw four touchdowns, ran in like another two another, or yeah. threw five, mm-hmm. ran in. Whatever the hell it was, mm-hmm. it was a lights-out game. You can say mm-hmm. whatever you want. It's a road playoff game. They're mm-hmm. not easy. So he can do it. Mm-hmm. He didn't but, do it this year, okay? But either did anybody else, starting with the coaching staff all the way down to the freaking trainers. Yeah. That was an ass-ass display but alex i appreciate your point of view though and appreciate mm-hmm. the super chat appreciate that yeah yeah appreciate that absolutely i don't so, know game time if, Mark, game, I, game time, did, did you notice your likeness up here buddy yeah i saw it man are you messing around it looks good that, that, that my, my, you you got that's one of the early shirts there buddy there with the go. new sublimation printer man I, well that i shit sent you nice. all the logos so you do what you got to do man let me okay. you know, mess around with it that looks good all right. All right. So, so um, Mark, if I sent you a likeness, you know what I'm saying? My likeness and everything, you going to put it up too? I, I'll, right. I'll print it and I'll, uh, I'll burn it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Here, that Bro, damn Lego. Uh, no Lego no. stuff. Yeah. I, I, I'll print it and send Derek, you one. Why, why you look like that, Derek? That was cool. I mean, but yeah, I'm, you can send you know me a logo as long as it doesn't have that eagle shit on like, it. It's like, uh, <laughs> I can't think of no reference right now. But that's like, uh, you, you know that's what's like, funny? That's like um, LeBron James printing out Michael Jordan posters. Like, we're, yeah, we're not right. doing that. Yeah, but but his kids wear that. Michael Jordan shoes. Everybody does. <laughs> you, you know what's funny? I, I tell you what. I tell you what's there. funny is I'm looking. You know a good analogy. You caught me off guard. Uh, uh, ask uh, me again. Uh, I'm minutes. looking at some of the trolls <laughs> here. Five five minutes, minutes, I got uh, one. The funniest yeah. thing to me is is listening to people say. Dak Prescott, you know, sixty million a year. You know, mm. last year, did anybody look an eye when Justin Herbert was the highest paid? No. And it was fifty two. He didn't have a good. Yeah, team. that's right. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm just asking. Chargers, okay. Uh, does does anybody bat an eye that Deshaun Watson's cap number is sixty two million this year? Yeah. Yeah. Anybody said mentioning paid. that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just asking because the funny thing is, is y'all recall we went through the same thing when Dak Prescott was going to get 40. Mm. How are you going to pay a quarterback $40 million? Kirk Cousins just signed for $45 million yep. to go to Atlanta, and he just he ruptured his Achilles tendon in the middle, middle of the season. Yep. Uh, does anybody realize that? Does anybody realize that Dak Prescott's contract, he's like 14th in compensation? Yep. That there are a lot of guys from Kyler Murray, Deshaun Watson, Russell Wilson, all these guys that are right now you looking are like mm, I don't even know why they're still in the NFL. Russell Wilson okay. is eighty five million dollar uh, dead hit. dead hit, but he's he's forty eight million. Okay, you know I'm just looking and saying, 
All these teams are paying those money. And if he does get $60 million, how long do you think Dak Prescott's going to be the highest paid? It's not like now, all of a sudden, he will forever be the highest paid. Bro, in two years, it'll probably be $75 million. I hope not. Yeah. No, seriously. The salary cap projections by 2027 are over $400 million. Mm. Wow. I think, you know how the yeah. Cowboys are going to screw themselves again, though? Is that it's almost kind of time for Purdy to get paid too? And he's going okay, to go to the, wait. the 49ers and say, "Hey, but, you know, hold I'm on, wait a minute, Super Bowl. wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on now. You got to remember they got their own little thing going on over there because right. you got to remember Shanahan is not sold on Purdy. He that's not his guy. Hmm. Sh- Kyle Dude, Shanahan is Purdy right now. Yeah, he, 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 he they took him. He took him to a Super Bowl. Doesn't matter. I, hey, okay. Listen, I'm, 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 wait, wait, wait. Let, 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 let me let, let's let's stop here for a second. If Brock Purdy is on another team, are they going to the Super Bowl? No. No. I mean, seriously. No. Because see, this no. is the problem. Okay. If you put Brock Purdy on <clears throat> the Cleveland Browns, are they going to the Super Bowl? No. No. Right. Angry Cowboy. Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy. Oh man. man. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. He was I, I wish, it. forgive me, I, 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 I yeah, should have got some water. Said that. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh my God. <laughs> we have the most incredible voice, okay? See, you're oh, like in you. Man on Fire. There's the guy who's just the voice. Angry Cowboy fan is that kind of voice, man. It's just mm-hmm. like, it's got that deep bass <laughs> and stuff no, in there, man. you know, okay. the there Dallas like Cowboys. That. See, that's legendary. I wish I sounded like Angry Cowboys fan, man. What's up, Angry <laughs> Cowboys fan? Yo, I truly appreciate you guys. I truly appreciate he's got that, you. He's just, got the quiet stone listen, voice. You hear, you hear that? Oh, yeah. he, he's, got the, he's got that DD, that DD voice, you know what? That drawer dropper. Hey, baby, how you doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> But go yeah, ahead, man. man. Angry Cowboy, welcome, I'm man. Coming to remember and everything, man. Oh, yeah, man. Well, if you of learn, course, if you you learn know, Spanish, you'll be killing me. I- <laughs> I gotta definitely support the content creators out here. Mark Holmes been following you and watching you a lot, and appreciate that. The time that I definitely got to put that money in and support you. So good job on yeah. everything. Well, thank what, you. What's much. your opinion on how the Cowboys go, are doing everything right now? Angry Cowboy. What's my, what's my opinion? Yeah. Um, I Preach. guess let me. I give you the. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. I can't give you the floor. That's this Mark Holmes channel, but you know what I'm saying. No, he, um, he's good. Let me just point on Dak Prescott real quick and the issue with Dak. One thing that I look at is the fact that I am not a Dak Prescott fan. I'm a Dallas mm-hmm. Cowboy fan, mm-hmm. first and foremost. Okay. But I am also a fan of winning. Yeah, I yeah. am a fan of having somebody in there that I know can get us to the playoffs. Because one thing that Dallas Cowboy fans, they do what they do. They all they automatically send us to the playoffs. We automatically have that ticket going mm-hmm. to the playoffs. Yeah, We don't realize that we have to play 17 games beforehand. Yeah. So Dak can win those games. Now all it is is trying to figure out how to get us over the hump. And it's not just Dak Prescott. No. Getting us over the hump with the pieces that we need mm-hmm. compliment him because i know i, I i'm sorry i'm i'm going on a tangent but no go ahead go ahead better you had. than than leo better you than leo <laughs> he, hey look man he values competency he values competency that's all i, I that's all i'm hearing he just yeah. wants competent pieces yeah that, and that's it and i know i've been hearing a lot of the times that uh well you guys had nine all pros i would love to have my nine all pros at both wide receiver spots mm-hmm. tight end spot both a backs in the backfield mm-hmm. and my quarterback. There you go. And I'd like for them all to show up in the playoffs too. Sounds like the right. Eagles to me. Oh that shit. Somebody like oh, no, got Rose in there. Somebody in the in the chat said Brock hasn't choked in the playoffs. He had a terrible playoff game. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. This year just passed. <laughs> he had a terrible game. His team won the game. He sucked. You know what? You, the, the thing about that defense that they had. Mm-hmm. Okay. Think mm-hmm. about are- think about wait a minute. Think about having the best running back in football mm-hmm. right now. Yep. He had the best yep. running back. Think yep. about a physical wide receiver in Debo and Brandon Ayuk, and then you put Skittle Kittle in there. Come on, man. Yep. Now of course he didn't choke. He had everything around him. He had the the meanest, nastiest left tackle in football that ended yep. Yep. Van Der Esch's career. 
Of yeah. course, you you don't choke when you have all that around you. Now, the problem. See, and here's the problem that a, a casual fan doesn't understand: they can run the football, they can pass the football. So, where am I going to put my resources? Am I going to stop Christian McCaffrey, or am I going to try and stop Brandon Ayuk or Debo Samuels? When you become one dimensional, especially in the playoffs like the Cowboys basically have been the last few years because our running game has not been there, you lose. Sorry, you just do. And when you can't stop the run, and that's been a problem we had. We, we ignored it because we would blow out the Giants. we blow out, you know, the Commanders. And, you know, we'd end up have a parade rest with the Eagles. We think, man, we them boys, we're a great team. But you look at every single team that could run the football, they all ran us into the ground. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Every actually, one of them. Mm-hmm. I actually remember that, um, that Carolina Panthers game. Mm-hmm. I went live after the game, and um, a lot of people were telling me, you know, calm down, calm down. But I couldn't. Mm-hmm. I couldn't just for the simple mm-hmm. fact, like, we're stagnant in the first and second quarter. Yeah. And then we start to score in the third and then have that, you know, we that take big, off in yep. the fourth. Mm-hmm. At that point, with a good team, it's too late. It's too late, yeah. Mm-hmm. You can't start slow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Your halftime adjustments wouldn't have mattered at that point. I totally I totally agree with you. I just think that and and my point that I was trying to make earlier was again, you sound like me in terms of I just value I place a very high value on competency. As long as you are if you're if you can do your job, but the thing about it is is that it's that you got to have that perfect combination of everybody on both the offense and the defense knowing their job. The one thing I'll say about our Super Bowl run, and I'm talking about the one where we won, was if you looked at that defense, them dudes had fun. The Philadelphia Eagles that year were the first, I think that was the first group where you saw, remember how when they would get the interceptions and everybody ran to the to the end zone? I think they started that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because now when you see it, when guys get interceptions, you see the whole defense running to the end zone to take the pictures. Well, those guys, I think the, the, the 2017 18 Philadelphia Eagles were the ones who actually Shut started up, that because that's when you saw, you know, Jalen Mills and all those guys running into the end zone. But okay. we also, that, that, when you think about that year, when we got to the Super Bowl, we were the walking wounded. We had guys, we lost Darren Sproles. We lost Jason Peters. Remember that, Mark? Mm-hmm. He wasn't even in the, he didn't even play in the Super Bowl that year. All you right, we, 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 we don't. We no, nobody cares about the Eagles here. Nobody cares. <laughs> my point. My point okay. is, is that all right. Okay. Let, let me let me go ahead and give up a point here because somebody said, "Oh, you're you know you're you're full of shit because Tony Pollard rushed for a thousand yards." Um, a thousand yards doesn't mean the same thing anymore. Not like when Jim Brown was around and there was only like fourteen games and stuff. Right. He played in 15 games, and he got slightly over 1,000 yards, averaged four yards a carry. It only comes out to 66, 66 yards a, a game. When you think about Emmett Smith, yeah. and oh, he we was, were, he was okay, amazed. we basically were 57 and 19 when he run, ran the ball for 100 yards. Tony Pollard had one game this year with 100 yards, one game. Mm-hmm. We were 14th in this, uh, this season in running the football. Sorry, that was not good. Four yards a carry per average. Uh, mm-hmm. Zeke was basically the last couple of years like three eight, three nine. So what you got was pretty much kind of a season like they had before. The thing about it was they screwed the pooch thinking that Tony Pollard was an every down back, and he's not. Right. No, he's he's not. not. He's more like a third down specialist. This is the same thing, and it's the same mistake they made with Marion Barber. Because it was Julius Jones and Marion Barber that were splitting time. It was thunder and lightning. Marion Barber could run between the tackles and stuff. They decided, we're going to give him a seven-year, $50 million deal and make him our full-time back. And within two seasons, he was gone. And another year after that, he was out of the league. Because that's not his game. They needed to get in a guy who could be a pounder in the middle and keep Tony Pollard outside in space because that's what he did. You could literally see Tony Pollard when he had to run in the middle where he hesitated because it was like, I really don't want to run he there. Good. He was not that guy. Uh, and that actually, it still amazes me that Dak had 36 touchdown passes without a real running game, guys. 
typically, if you're able to say, we don't have to put eight men in the box and teams did not, hmm. but then you've got Arizona? extra D. Yeah. Usually Arizona. it will shut down your quarterback. Yep. Okay. If we had had a, a, a competent running game, or if we had had another back, if we had Quarter gotten if, if, and, and to Leo's thing where they went and got Jay Ajayi their Super Bowl year, if the Cowboys had gone out and got Derrick Henry in the middle of the season, it would have been a different team. And that's the, the, that's the difference. That that's the difference with the Cowboys. Is it's always well, we believe in our our guys. Well, we lose a linebacker, mm-hmm. so we're going to take a safety and make him a linebacker. What are you kidding me? A safety. We're gonna make we're we believe in our guys, so we're gonna take a safety and make him a linebacker. Yeah, <laughs> y'all know what thing is. You know, Mark. All all Keeper Jones had to do was get Derrick Henry, sign him to about six six or seven million. Mm-hmm. The rest, the rest of that could have been an incentive. That would have got the deal done. Yeah, Stephen Jones, that, that that dumb motherfucker. He won't he even talk to him. Think, he he want he don't think man he's worried about trying to outthink somebody and now, the shit now, always again, back I, I'm, I'm not quite with running backs because typically when you look at running backs that have left another team and going elsewhere their numbers continue to decline for the most part out, out of like 10 big name running backs i think only two actually continued what they were doing on other teams we saw demarco <laughs> murray drop off a map we've seen adrian peterson kind of drop off there too it doesn't always work out I would rather say, okay, let me get my offensive line together because then I can take an average running back, and they're going to be good because I have a good run, uh, a good offensive lineman. You know, good offensive I mean, line. We, uh, but we don't like. All right, for instance, Mark, we don't need Saquon. Y'all have Howie Roseman. Y'all do what Saquon either. did in New York. Like we don't, we don't need that. Mm-hmm. We That's just need we, we, you know, and 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 so I expect, I fully expect to see a decline. In Saquon's numbers, as far as yards go, only it's because when you look at that defense, when you look at our offense on the skill positions, we're loaded. You know what I'm saying? It's not enough ball to go around. You know what I'm saying? So you got AJ, you got Devontae, you got Dallas. You know what I'm saying? Then you bring in uh, uh, Devontae Park. I mean Parker. You got you know like that skill wise. You know, and then you got Jalen who could run, who could take off running as well. So our offense isn't going to run the same way that New York's offense runs because it was so dependent on mm-hmm. it was so Saquon Barkley dependent, and we're not that. You see what I'm saying? So I don't I wouldn't attribute a loss in production from Saquon as a negative on him. It's more so the way that offense is built. He just doesn't have to do as much as he did in years past. Mm-hmm. Hey Mark, what do you think about? the possibility of giving up a sixth rounder for Khalil Herbert out of Chicago. What do you, what do you think about that? Uh, I wouldn't have a problem with that. I mean, six rounders, I think you've got a better shot there than maybe in the draft. Cause I, I thought I'd heard that that rumor is going around that, 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 that the cow. We don't do nothing in the free agency like that. We don't, we don't give away picks. Well, no, no, hold on. We we actually see here's here's where you may. This is where I think this this is my hope. Okay, here's my hope mm-hmm. is right now the Cowboys are playing possum. Okay, yeah. okay, that they're gonna let everybody say you know the, 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 these guys are dead. Let's not worry about them. They're not gonna do anything because they will get that money for Michael Gallup. You know. Uh, June 1st you know that you're going to be able to get more money of course when you do C.D. Lamb and Dak Prescott that they're actually waiting and waiting and waiting because we know what's going to happen is there's going to be a lot of veterans that are out there and the Cowboys like to look at value Mm -hmm. they will have money if they decide you know what we're going to get a couple of studs for the defensive linemen that are older guys because that's what they do and use some of that money there it is a possibility, and I still feel like, uh, call me crazy, I still can't get Stefan Diggs and that idea out of my head because Buffalo is changing what they're doing, and they're going to move on from him at some point. After June 1st, they can save $19 million on this year's cap. And you could look at it and say the Cowboys are going to have four extra picks next year because of the um, comp picks because we know they're not going to sign anybody and like and lose any of those. You could look and say, you know what? 
we'll give you a third or a second round pick for Stefan. Give you some cap relief. You need some of the contract. Huh? They're going to want at least a first round pick. for the They may want, but here's the thing. Uh, what did the Texans want for Brandon Cooks when we talked to him during the season? What? But Brandon we, Cooks, we he, wanted to be, he, he was verbal about wanting to be gone from Houston. I understand that. But we tried to get him, and they wanted, I think, a second round during the season before we mm-hmm. started talking to Odell. Before the trade oh, so deadline, the all season we got them for like. Okay, and every, oh no, no, I'm sorry. They I wanted a first. A they wanted a first because that's where everybody, because everybody killed us. Oh, the Cowboys, they don't care about winning. They need a receiver, and they're not willing to trade a first for him. And he got him for a fifth. Oh yeah, a fifth. That's hey, right. Cook, we got Cook him for a fifth. For last year. And and here's the I, thing, I, Cooks. This is one thing that gives me some hope. Is remember we changed offenses, we changed that up. We started out really slow on the offense, but we started getting into a groove. You know, we've got another year of being in this offense. You got another year of Brandon Cooks being here. Those two things may improve even more right there just from being in the same system. The here we go. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And if the Cowboys can draft a good running back, and if the Cowboys can get a stud offensive lineman plug in there, the offense has not changed a whole lot. You got rid of Michael Gallup. Well, good. Now Jalen Tolbert gets a chance to play more. And he was playing better than, than Michael Gallup. You had to play Michael Gallup because you were paying him a boatload of money. You had to justify yeah. that. So, so you actually have the potential for your offense to be better. I don't think people think that. I, you do. I kind of like the idea of getting Khalil Herbert out of Chicago. Because mm-hmm. he did a little bit better. Even though he didn't play the full season, he did a lot better than... Tony Pollard did. Yeah. So, Mark, real quick. Yeah. What do you feel about Braylon Allen out of Wisconsin? Wouldn't mind him. I think he could definitely be a, be a help for this team. I, I like Braylon Allen. The, the, the only problem is, like is, is we depend on rookies like coming Allen. in and, and starting. I like Braylon Allen. He's a bruiser. Hmm? I like Braylon yeah. Allen. He's a bruiser and – we need that for a short yardage situation, and you know we we've been looking for we've been we've been looking for a for the last few years anyway. And yeah, you know, I like Braylon Allen. I like him. Mm-hmm. Is yeah, he going to be there you know, on at? the third day? What do y'all think about the Jackson Powers Johnson, the center? He has a knee issue. He's hurt. Yeah, in which case the Cowboys would what love it because at? they always love drafting. I don't know. He might. I heard that good, though. He might fall to us. Well, yep. I, I think at least here's the good thing about the Cowboys' position: if they're looking at offensive you line, man, can you make it? is because Tyler Smith can play tackle or guard. You can literally just take the best offensive lineman that is there, be it mm-hmm. a center, a tackle, or a guard, and plug yeah. him in. That's what you really want to be able to do, and that's a good position mm-hmm. to be in. But Mark, I can did. I just say something real quick? Yeah, of course you can, man. Are we trying to rebuild a dynasty or just a football team? I don't know what we're money. trying to do. No, no, no. I'm serious. Because as you look at all of the complaints we have about the Dallas Cowboys front office, mm-hmm. we are still a dynasty. There's nobody better than us except for New England. San Francisco is tied. And Pittsburgh might be ahead of one, us by we one, have one One more Other Super Bowl. We are great. At we this were. point, at this point, we need to get back up in there, though. Okay, That's I mean, not we, we That's were not great. we were literally San Francisco was literally a coin flip away from being another step ahead of us. And that's my yep. point. If they're that great and we can't defend against them any kind of way, why didn't they win the Super Bowl two years in a row? I agree. Okay, so they got a better front if, office. if I'm not mistaken, they couldn't win the Super Bowl because they got a coach that can't play and win in the bill. Okay, mm-hmm. they should have had, they could have had at least seven Super Bowl. No, yes, yeah, seven Super Bowls by now. Mm-hmm. But if you want to count, if, if, if you want to count Harbaugh in now, they should have had eight because they should have beat Baltimore back in 2008. Yeah, but we're not playing horseshoes. We play NFL football. <laughs> We play in it. Come close, don't come right. close. We, we have been You're listen in You're the past. We have been You're one of the greatest teams in the history of football, but we need to get back up there because since the time that we have been to the Super Bowl, 
We've mm. seen New England become a dynasty and the greatest dynasty since we've been there. But look at we've seen now. teams they, that they hadn't been now. in there forever, the like the Green Bay Packers, come through and win. How we've seen the Kansas City Boy. Chiefs, after 50 years, go in there and win. We've seen teams like the Arizona Cardinals go to the Super Bowl. Okay? So when you start looking at this and saying, yes, we have been, we need to get back Boy. there. Yes, Thomas. Remember, remember when I told you that my brother was a 49er fan? Yeah. That's him right there. Oh, right there. He's a sitting in the dark. Fan. I see sitting you in the dark hot Nady. You're a loser. <laughs> Tom's about to get you bit slapped. <laughs> you better leave that Niner fan. He's going to go bang, bang on your ass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to say, I'm sick of this right shit. There. Yeah, uh, <laughs> You know, like, like like I told you last week, uh, Leo, they still haven't recovered. Man, don't be, don't, man, don't be coming behind me, man. You may knock me upside my head and knock me out, bro. Mm, mm, I don't want mm, mm. to. I told you, they're unstable right now, Thomas. You can't do that. <laughs> yeah. You got a good time. Yeah, a little sensitive. Hey, 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 yo. Uh, do you got a... Uh, do you, oh, I'm sorry about that. Talk. <laughs> yeah, wow, Talk. <laughs> <laughs> so, so is it easier is it easier to promote a regular football team or is it easier to build a dynasty? Which is which is the strongest the hardest thing to do? Dynasty. Okay, dynasty. so we twelve and three for five uh three years straight. Don't you think they're doing something that's on the right track? That's what I was that, that's a, my point. But, but yeah. like I was pointing out about the pendulum. We are too far away from using free agency. We, the thing is, is we're not that far away. That's what kills you is you sit here and you look and say, okay, we've lost our linebacker. Let's go out and get somebody. They refuse to go ahead and say, let's get a capable linebacker. You sit here, you know, you need a wide receiver. And you sit here, no, we believe in our own guys. We're going to play Noah Brown and Michael Gallup will be fine and so on. And you waste opportunities. That's mm -hmm. the sad part. When you see Tyron Smith leave and go someplace else and you feel like they failed a great player. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, by not saying we need to do everything to get in. Dan Quinn was right. He's like, there is no tomorrow in football. You can't keep talking about we're building for the future. What? How, we've been building for the future for thirty years. Okay. When, when is this future going to be a reality? But look at the situation with uh, uh, Wilson and Denver. This man is getting how much money? Eighty-five and, million, I think. Eighty-nine, and, and he's not, and he's not even going to play for the team. Do you want to be in that situation? Yeah, for real. And everybody's saying fifty-five million. We're gonna have a fifty-five million dollar cap hit. Not if you extend him. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing that's about it. it, it I don't it, know see, why they want to extend him, but I'm saying it's a whole lot involved in this football game. And right now, Dallas Cowboys is the number one team in the world. And that's that's Would where it doesn't make like any sense. Play for them? Oh hell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Leo's fired <Yeah>. up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I, 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 I'm sitting here listening to this, and I'm just like, Jesus Christ! This dude. Like, like, hey, like, hey, hey Mark. European. Yeah. <laughs> right now, Eagles, Eagles fans, Giants fans, and Commanders fans are loving our misery. Oh, they always, but but Absolutely. but how is this yeah. any different than any off season? They yeah. still gonna come in second, third, it's and fourth. Comical to them, man. The thing, here's the thing is we need to replay these videos during the season so we understand how we get to where we are, that we're good enough to win but not good enough to win at all. It's kind of like the Jones I would love it if you did that, Mark, because one of the things that I always find to be insufferable is the fact that you guys, particularly you, Mark, it's like you try to sell us on this idea that you know, you guys are going to win the Super Bowl this year, and you're going to do all these well, things. But here's the problem. You know what? And, and actually, I will say I am part of the problem in the same way law is part of the problem. Because, you know, in, in game time, we'll, we'll, we'll see a problem with the Cowboys. And because the Cowboys don't do anything, when they finally do anything, we're selling it and telling you why this is a good move. When we got Anthony Barr, because we knew yeah. Leighton Vanderess only got had any more than twenty tackles on the roster. Yeah. 
Right. When we signed Anthony, well, Anthony Barr, here's what he did, you know, with Minnesota and how he helps out this, that, and the other. When we were putting lipstick on a pig and selling hope, um, right. um, uh, Alpha never, Omega, you have to be a channel member, and the link is actually in the community tab. To, I have uh, join never, in. I have never wanted to request somebody to get <laughs> uh, blocked from the channel, but if you look in his comments, you could see which one I'm talking about. I have never wanted one person to get blocked from the channel. Maybe they don't know what they said, but Swan Song says even Dak's mama isn't expecting him to be the highest paid player. Yes. I have never wanted to request somebody to get the lead from the channel. Yeah. There you go. Okay, you got your wish there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. See, that, that, you're getting a little personal now. Mm-hmm. You know, Uh-oh. you want to talk about you want to talk about a man's mother when he you know, when passed away. Passed <laughs> away. No, that 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 that's too personal, Mark. No, you 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 should block his monk ass. You know, I'm sorry, but uh, I was about ready to do it. I was about ready to do it. I already did. I did. You don't you know you don't you don't talk about a man's mom like that, man. Not you know, wow. you don't do that. That you know, it's fighting words and. Hey man, you're in my chair, man. You gotta get up. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tom was ready to fight hey, somebody. Hey, you gotta get up. Man. I ain't getting up for nobody. Oh, I ain't shit. getting up for nobody, Thomas. Oh my God, Thomas is is, a, is hilarious. <laughs> No, nah, but he's he's not, you, you'd be amazed at some of the things. The oh, I get some nasty shit every all the time, and I gotta watch because you know, again, like uh, you angry cowboy fan. I'm with him. I'm a 52 year old man. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I'm a cowboy fan. Uh, I I love Dak. Don't get me wrong. I love Dak Prescott, but I want to win a Super Bowl. I don't give a crap who our quarterback is. I just want to win a, like another Super Bowl. But mm-hmm. I do think it's in our best interest to keep Dak. I think in a in a perfect world, we keep Dak and Trey. We get Trey up to speed, and God forbid. That goes down with an injury. We got Trey Lance. I'm good with that. I mean, that's about as best as you're going to get not being Pat Mahomes. I mean, I just, that's just my personal opinion, but you should see all the negativity I get when I say, yeah. oh, you're another Mark Holmes. You know, oh, he, yeah, he I, I, I get and uh, and that. We're twins. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, man. I just said I would rather keep Dak, extend him out. He's a he is the MVP runner up two out of the last three years. I know nobody cares about the regular season anymore, but you know, it's not all him. But again, I get lit up. So talking about negativity, I, I go through it every day looking at it, and you know, I just kind of like, hey, wow, you guys hey, take it way time. too personal. Hey, hey, game time, listen, yeah. the first time I came on this channel, the first time I came on here, right, mm-hmm. I, I I wanted everybody to know that regardless of my opinions and how I come across, I always wanted folks to know that I, I don't think that uh, in no year that I think that was the problem. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I couldn't put it on, I, I wouldn't put it all on that. You does he I'm need saying? to win? Yeah, he needs to yeah, win in the yeah, playoffs. Absolutely. So does but everybody you, else on the team. Right, I was going to say. You know what I'm saying? That's all yeah, I'm saying. I always say, like, like, damn, like, like when the Cowboys fail, they fail as a collective. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it not, is. It's a. It, it's now, not that. You know what I saying? will say this. That game a couple years ago, if you're going to you put any game on that. That San Francisco one. The San Francisco at home where they were oh, not the out. It would, yeah, stupid yeah. shit like that. Yeah. Although yeah. Again, I will put also a little on Randy Gregory because had Randy yeah, Gregory not yeah, tackled he, the offensive well, lineman, we would have stopped him and had more time on the clock. Yeah, you guys remember say, we well, gave them first down after first down after first down. I was going to say, yeah, look at the circumstances yeah, that so, put, that the team put him in. I'm not saying that was Dak, but that was as close as I, I could argue with you that okay sometimes you just need your quarterback to win you a damn game we see it all the time mm-hmm. with Mahomes I told everybody in this chat here that Mahomes has not been the better team the last two has not had the be- uh, the better football team the last two years in my opinion the Absolutely. Niners were the better football team mm-hmm. in my yeah. opinion the Eagles were the better yeah. more talented football team <laughs> Mahomes they got, got a good you were dumb coach. enough to give him the ball with uh, and the coach and the coach yep yep, yep. And, so, yeah. 
Yeah. You know, yeah. let's just keep it real here. People get caught up. People get way too personal. You know, we all have. It's not right, but it's it's getting back to swan song. We deal with it. Yeah, you know, people want. I people. There was one guy yesterday. He stopped following me. I'm done because one of my uh, the people in the chat block. Uh, just put him in a timeout because he just kept bringing up Mark Holmes, bringing up Mark Holmes, bringing up Mark Holmes. Dak this, Dak that, and you know, enough is enough. You're watching my show, so why are you bringing <laughs> up Mark's opinion on Dak Prescott? Yeah, because oh, I said Lordy. I like Dak. I don't but, understand but, it. But game time, you, you you have to understand, you know, and 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 this is pretty much everybody here on this channel. You know, we take a more analytical approach to the game as a whole mm -hmm. we, think, we think on the macro and the micro level when it comes to this because you know if you think about it everything that mark says and everything we say we, we go into the variables from the the, the salary cap we, yeah. we account for the variables in the draft mm -hmm. we even account for the variables and the makeup of the coaching staff mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. what i'm saying most people don't like, dig that for deep. instance you, you have to account for the fact that Yes, this is Zimmerman's second go around with the Dallas Cowboys. So he basically just came right on back to some familiar territory. And then oh, you're well, mixing you gave it in. You the wrong name. That's another okay. dude. You said Zimmerman. Okay. We don't like that no, name. No, Zimmer. Mike yeah. Zimmer. <laughs> okay. Not Zimmerman. You said Zimmerman, Zimmerman, though. We don't, that's, that name is. That name yeah, is yeah, right. make I you want to fight. <laughs> but go ahead. I'm saying Mike Zimmer. <laughs> I'm saying, okay. I'm saying okay. yeah. Uh, I'm saying uh, you, you, you figure you got Mike Zimmer coming back to familiar territory mixing in with some Mike McCarthy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Not to mention the fact that you have an up and coming, you know, DB's coach in Al Harris. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And we don't know how all of these are going to play out, but when you look at these ingredients, it makes for some interesting thoughts when it comes to what is your personnel going to look like that's going to carry this out. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing with us in terms of you know, like like we you're said, changing we got systems Dracula again. Mixed in with we got Count Dracula <laughs> mixed in with um, you know uh, some other craziness and everything like that. Wait, and did Tony, did you just you call your coach tr uh, Dracula? I love it. I had wait, that wait, troll wait. sit there. I got lit up because I said he looked like a vampire. Now I got an eagle face. Dracula, <laughs> come on, Dracula, come on, man, it's all fun. You know what? <laughs> You know Didn't what? Call I had call him new. No, I had uh, call him you new. made that name. And I heard name. Leo say Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> My job okay. is Leo done here. <laughs> okay, oh, Mr. Bridgewater. <laughs> Mr. Bridgewater, let me throw to my two cents in here. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I'm 67 now. Dracula, right? I'm, I'm Come on, Mr. Bridgewater. See, I'm 67. y'all right? Why, why y'all want to blow my junk and everything? And Leo, you say your coach is drag, drag. Stephen Brown. Somebody timed out Stephen Brown. I don't know why. <laughs> no, Stephen. I see your post right there, Stephen. Wait a minute. Like, come on, Troy, help me out. Didn't didn't y'all didn't y'all wait a minute? What was the name y'all call him? Unmute, uh, Stephen, Mr. unmute your your mic. Dracula. You got to unmute your mic, Stephen. An ang angry fan yeah, up there. Yeah. Look, he, yeah. he, he, oh, what's up with angry, angry cowboy fan? He looks like he's awful calm. You're supposed to be mad as hell, bro. I just sit, listen, and soak it all in. Hey, he's a queen. Uh, let, let, let me, he's a queen. Be, before we get out of here, I, I want to make sure I, I, I mention this he now. Okay, free, now, now listen. Let, let me first of all say shout out to every one of you guys that have been a subscriber to the channel and stuff. It's because of each and every one of you guys that I got to 100,000 subscribers. So thank you very much. But, you know, you may like me or you may hate me, which is cool. But there are so many content creators out there that do incredible work that there is truly the one for you. And so that's where I'm, I feel like I'm Papa Smurf. OK, I'm, I'm true blue, but I feel like because I'm old as shit. I feel like the daddy of so many of these oh, channels and stuff out here. You know, I'm, I've been mentoring and working with my man, Game Time Brian, and I'm proud because he's over three thousand. You're over three thousand now, right? Yeah, he's up and over three. Yeah, hours. see, he's been putting in the work and everything else. And then there's angry you cowboy fan. Yeah, yeah. yeah Game yeah, Brian only has three. Yeah, 000. but there's also Yo, my man good, Angry though. Cowboys fan. Um, I check out his channel too because I just found discovered him a few weeks ago, and I was like, man, if I had that kind of voice back in the day. <laughs> 
Man, <laughs> the lady's been in trouble, then, bro. It's like, look, I can fix and build anything, and I got that voice. Shit. Okay. No, and I, and I'm gonna tell you another thing too, because because see, Leo, you touched on about the knowledge of the game. A person I would love to have uh, sit at a bar and talk football with is Linda, because Linda, she's an Eagle fan, but she's got so much knowledge of the ins and outs of football and stuff mm-hmm. in here, and um, there's so many people out here that put out stuff so it's, it's it's always good to get other people's opinions and to check out these people everybody because uh, it, it's not easy linda being there, it's not be easy being speak, on here trust me speaking of linda there mark she's wondering did you get the plaque yet no it takes uh first after about a week or two they notify you and say yeah it's legit they they check and make sure that the the, the people are there and then you get you fill out the paperwork, and then it takes about another month before you actually get the plaque. Um, I talked to Philly 500. He said he actually has his plaque now, but he's waiting to do a video and stuff on it, and that's took him about six weeks before he got it. So can, it'll can be I there. make a confession, Mark? What's that? Uh, when I first watched football, I was a Green Bay Packers fan because I liked Brett, uh, Bart Starr over uh-huh. the United Yeah. And then the Dallas Cowboys did something that Thank turned you, my whole life around. What was they that? drafted. Bob Hayes, because he was the fastest man oh, Bob, in 100 Bullet yards Hayes. Dad. Yeah. And then the football is 100 yards. Am I correct? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I thought that was the smartest move anybody could make in business. And now, when you talk to me about being <laughs> my new or, or, or small-minded microscopic, yeah. come on, man. You got to look at it like it is, man. When you talk to me, you're on the wrong channel, bro. That's all I got to say. <laughs> okay. You're on the wrong channel. TCO Drums, appreciate the super chat. And uh, Dave Thomas said, Mark, my wife is your age. She said, get the fuck off with that old <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, 58. I just, I, look, I, it just, you got to understand, when I say old, I don't mean it to be derogatory. It means I have seen a lot of things, okay? I have seen yes, the greatest yes, Dallas Cowboys yes. teams in their history, and I've yes. seen them literally fall and go down the, 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 the toilet in the 80s when the commanders and stuff became good. And I saw the rebirth, and I, I, I at least look and say, I've seen some of the stuff. Let me give you a different perspective of it. I understand what it was like after losing Tony, excuse me, Troy Aikman, until we got Tony Romo, and what we had to do to try and get a quarterback. We were like the Commanders. We literally were. You think it's bad now losing in the playoffs? Try mm-hmm. being five and eleven for three years. Mm-hmm. Try that shit on. Because that would make you appreciate seeing him <laughs> lose in the playoffs. And those were good years for me. I, I, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not taking a dig. I'm just saying those were those years that you're talking about coincided with good years for me in yeah. terms of how it played out on this end. Because remember, I bring a different perspective. I'm sorry, Thomas, you were saying. God damn. <laughs> we don't want to hear about your good years, Leo. Come on, Leo, man. I don't. I, I ain't even said nothing about you. I'm talking to my big brother, Mark. You, you are excluded from what I'm about ready to say. Okay, but go Mark, ahead. We have seen the good, the mm-hmm. bad, and, and the, the ugly. ugly. Yes, we have. And I, I, I hope, I hope, what happened this year is the good. I, 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 I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna get. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna get ahead of myself and say good. But, you know, we have seen the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I tried to tell my nephew, who's at the table, who's a Tennessee Titan fan, mm. I told him, I said, man, you don't even, you, 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 you know nothing. Mm-hmm. You know nothing. Mm-hmm. You, you are a, you're a young buck. You know nothing. I, you know, I, 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 try to, I, I try to talk to him, and I try to, Put some wisdom in his head, but mm-hmm. you know, when you try to talk to your nephews or your younger kids, and they don't refuse, to, and they don't refuse to listen, you just gotta let them see for themselves. And that's what I'm gonna do with my nephew. I love him to death. He's my oldest nephew. He's like the little brother I've always wanted, but I want him to see for himself. And I tried to. I already done. 
encouraged him to come down to Dallas with me this fall so he could see what a real city is. A real football stadium. Mm-hmm. In a real in, in a real football stadium. You know he's a barber. And you know Dallas is known for having barbers and barbershops down in Dallas. And I told him, I said, you may not want to come back because this was all is in Dallas is barbershop. Oh my god, Black Regina Green. Yeah, I remember Jerry Glanville with the black hat and all that. <laughs> Basically That's leaving really leaving That's tickets for Elvis at the stadium, uh, we'll call. Yeah. <clears throat> but, I, got a, you know, I got a question. Yeah, I got go a ahead. question real quick. Um how would Cowboys fans feel if we if the Cowboys with Dak Prescott made it to the Super Bowl or made it to the NFC championship and kept losing? How would they feel? Would they say, oh, we got to get rid of Dak. Dak can't get over the hump. Or would they be satisfied? Because right now, everybody's saying, like, um, he can't even make it to an NFC championship. Mm -hmm. Once he makes it there, what is it going to be? No, he sucks. He couldn't get us to the Super Bowl. It it always moves. Mm -hmm. And if he wins the Super Bowl, oh, he can't win two in a row. Yeah, but just imagine. Keep going. Just imagine if if the Cowboys got rid of Dak Prescott and he went to the Washington Commanders. I, I'll just say this, though, right? Let's think of 2022, right? We, A lot of us in this chat believe that was our year, right? But what happened in 2020, uh, prior to 2022 season starting? We got we let go of our best receiver, right? Mm-hmm. Cool. And our right. number three wide the receiver. Cowboys, the front office, it's like every single year we get rid of one of our best players one year too early. And don't replace them. And don't replace them. And it's kind of like if we had Cooper, he takes pressure off of C.D. Lamb in that game. It was Lamb had a good game versus the 49ers in 2022. Mm-hmm. And maybe he even takes a little bit of pressure off of Gallup, although Gallup, I mean, he just saw off the face of the earth. <laughs> and maybe even helps Tobert a little bit. I don't know, was Tobert there? Tobert was. Maybe, if if so, he Tobert was there, but no, he wasn't yeah, really he wasn't playing. There. Well, if not, you know what I'm saying, though? He would have made, made it a lot easier, y'all. It's, and then it's always one year too early, yo. That's my it's point like, is we, we are close, but you need a cu- little extra oomph. And that's where when, when but see, that's that when the Rams, the think about this though. When the Rams won the Super Bowl, what did they do during the season? They traded for Von Miller, right? We, we basically, they traded for him for half a season. They brought yeah. in Odell Beckham. They had a good team already. They, they had went that. out, they had gotten Jalen Ramsey and stuff. They had Namakin Sue, but they said, that's not enough for us to get over the hump. Let's make sure we have a little extra to get there. We lose people, and it's like we believe in our guys. We'll just plug in somebody else that we have, and that is the problem. In today's NFL, just like uh, Jordan Love said, he's like, look, we looked at it and said we don't really want to throw against that secondary, but you had a cornerback, he said, playing you know, linebacker. So we decided we're going to run the football, and they did. I got a question. People are going to find your weakness. Overshawn, he's a bit undersized too, y'all. I don't see him being effective in this defense if he's going to be a linebacker, y'all. I really don't. Well, that's yeah, where you yeah. got Eric Kendricks in the middle there. But I will say, here's what I will say as far as thinking about free agency. Mm-hmm. We do have potential for some guys to give us a free agency like bump up. Okay. You know, Diggs, he, he tore his leg early. His knee. Mm-hmm. He's going to be coming back. That's big. Like week three. You, yeah. You, you look at Overshone. Mm-hmm. Still, if we had Overshone, we would have been better shaped than we were this year mm-hmm. with linebacker. Okay. Now you got Eric Kendricks right there. That's going to give you a boost. I think Mozzie having the right coaching has to be better. I think that you look at um, Wait a minute, Mark, Shoemaker. How many you got coming back? Huh? How many you got coming back? I don't like, even know. Diggs, Overshone, and. Um, Shit. Um, fuck. Diggs, Overshone. Jordan and, Lewis. Uh, well, Jordan Lewis should be better, too, because he's a more uh, another year uh, removed from the injury as well. But and Terrence Steele being a year removed. Yeah, and Terrence Steele being another year. He should be back, hopefully, where he was the year before. But you right. also have um, Schoonmaker, who was injured oh. all off season. If he can become at least an average tight end, and you look at Jake Ferguson being able to be that pass catching and blocking tight end and continue yeah. his path up. You've got a lot of potential 
to get better. And I still yeah. think Mozzie Smith will be a little bit better. Am I saying that that's good enough to be a Super Bowl team? I don't know about that. But if the Cowboys do find a couple of you know older guys to plug in like they usually do, they are a team that likes to bring people in during training camp and after <laughs> you know people get cut. It's not as bad as it sounds. Now we got a killer schedule. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I still look yeah, and say that this is still a playoff yeah. team again. And I'm sorry, if the Cowboys are a playoff team four years in a row and the Joneses don't do more to try and get over the hump, then that's really on the Joneses. That that, that ain't on the quarterback. It's hard to make the playoffs three years in a row. It is. Yeah, it is. I'm getting twelve wins each season. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. You know? Let's think yeah. about it like this. Had the Eagles not had that great season in 2022, we was probably the number two seed or some, you know, one or two seed. Yeah. Right then and there. Yeah. And then it's easier, of course, to get to the big game. Really, personally, as a Cowboys fan, if they could just make an NFC Championship game, mm-hmm. I think that's, that's a win. Like, that that I won't think be good any enough. Any Cowboys fans would be just ecstatic with that. They, they say we ain't won a Super Bowl in 30 years, but, hey, we ain't even been to the NFC Championship game in 30 years. So, I mean, we haven't won a divisional playoff round in 30 years, y'all. Damn. A divisional up, playoff Leo. game, y'all. <laughs> All right. I, I put a lot of it on the front office, yo. You have to put a, you have to put a hell of a lot on the front office, okay? Yeah, Damn, man. Yeah. Well, let me say, we have been on here for two hours. I got some work I got to do in my workshop stuff because I got to get out of here, get back down, uh, work tomorrow, and then back down to the Red Brick House and things. Be safe on that road, Mark. Oh, I will. I've got a few hours worth of work to do in the garage and things here. But um, let me say again, shout out, shout out to Game Time Brian. Definitely. Keep supporting my man and angry cowboy fan. Shout out to him becoming a channel member and joining the chat and stuff here. And uh, hopefully, maybe the cowboys will do something at some point. I hope not. I I, I like the way things are going. I <laughs> really, yeah. you Only you I, would I, say I, that. You know what, though? Yeah. yeah. No, I hope nothing changes. I hope well, stay we're, we're, like we're only a month away from the draft, so maybe we'll get lucky and we'll hear something like this. Well, no, you know what, Mark? Let me say this. You guys, I, we're still going to spill with y'all. How many did you have coming back? I fire Howard. It sounds like fucking the same thing fire. Like with us too, because you got a bunch of guys who are coming off of injury, the whole nine yards. What an but idiot. at the same time, y'all got hooked up with some compensatory idiot. picks. Next so you guys are four. going into the draft. Dallas has I, more Cooper I mean, I granted, and Yeah, you guys ain't too much for a free agency, and I get it. Me? But I think that might be your little recipe. I don't want Justin with Jefferson. Jefferson. You're rely on these guys to come up off of who are coming off of injury. He's you know stupid. Mm-hmm. And then mix them up with I some new graphics and throw a bunch of shit at the wall and see what I sticks. I fire that. You yep. know what I'm saying? So I mean, I how he's going to be stupid. If we win the NFC division, what are you 